Winterland, a beautiful mountain resort where the world's athletes are gathered for the opening of the Olympic Games. <laughs> and the perfect opportunity to show the world the supremacy of man. A mad cat. <laughs> And what brings you to Winterland, young lady? I'm here with my uncle. Oh, look! There he is! Inspector Gadget, the world's most famous detective. <coughs> I'm off duty. Uncle, are you sure Chief Quimby doesn't know where you are? Of course, Penny. I'm taking one week's vacation, and I'm absolutely, completely, and totally off duty. <coughs> Holy mountain goat! That's the top secret gadget phone. Is that you, Chief? You're where? Sorry to interrupt your vacation, Gadget, but, uh... Take all precautions, Dr. Clore and Winterland. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. <laughs> <laughs> With my cold weather warning system, Dr. Claw won't dare to show his face. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> he hasn't seen my man yodel. <laughs> Here you fool at Gadget Chalet. Avalanche him. Get Gadget. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Indeed, sir. Yes, sir. Do I see what I think I see? Wowzers. That innocent yodeler is heading straight for my trap. I've got to stop him. That doesn't look like an innocent yodeler to me. No way. Stop! Stop, my good man! Watch him, Brain. Just one step further, my good man, and you have fallen into my secret gadget trap. <laughs> good thing we braced ourselves. Excuse me. Let me brush you off. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, your sheet music. Here, let me help you. Mm. Ooh, la la. Catchy little tune. La la! <laughs> Sorry about that. Dum de dum dum. Ah! <laughs> I'm such a butterfinger. Wow, la la. what's going on here? Whoa. Brain, come in, Brain. This is Penny. Do you read me? Brain? <laughs> That's the mad yodeler, one of Dr. Claw's secret agents. <laughs> <clears throat> Do, re, mi, la, si, do, re, mi, la, si. Thank you. Do. My goodness, I'm so sorry. Let me dust you off again. No way! <laughs> Strange people, these mountain folks. And with the lighting of the Olympic flame, this year's Winter Olympic Games will now begin.
Look, Uncle, there's the Olympic torch bearer. Indeed it is, Penny. <laughs> yes, it's lovely. Oh, I wonder if... Chief Quimby, you're no bear. That's no torch bearer. Wowzer! That's one of Dr. Claw's men. <laughs> torch bearer carrying dynamite. Must stop. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'll get him. <laughs> Chief Quimby, are you all right? <laughs> Why do I put up with him? You there, stop in the name of the law! What's this? An unidentified skier is on the run! Stop! Stop! Stay calm, Brain. With my gadget snow sail, we'll breeze right up the slope. <laughs> One thing about sailing, Brain, always check the wind first. And now to inflate my gadget blimp. Nice try. Hey? Let this be a lesson to you next time you try and bust somebody's balloon, Buster. There's the thief! No, no, you've got the wrong man! I've got to get rid of this dynamite! Brain, are you there? Oh, well. Follow them, Brain. We've got to help Uncle Gadget. I've got to get rid of this dynamite before it explodes! This is dangerous. Go on, beat it. Will you get out of here? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This guy's getting on my gadget nerves. Traveling in disguise as a garbage pail, eh? Time for my gadget snow gun. <laughs> Scratch one mad agent disguised as a garbage pail. Catch mad agents, gadget on bounce that course, eliminate him. Got you, boss. Nothing like a little oil to grease things up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it! Come back here, you! Er, Bert! Oil well, it ends well! Stop! Out of that bobsled, you! Wait! Dr. Gadget! Who else? <laughs> yes, it's us, precisely. And as you see, we've just saved the Olympic Village from this fake torch loaded with dynamite. Gadget private ski lessons. Yeah, yeah. Only the best for Inspector Gadget. Private ski lessons, eh? I've got just the idea to eliminate Gadget once and for all. Plan XB7A. <laughs> I knew 
we were nearby. This is the spookiest ski school I've ever seen. Oh, but it's beautiful, Penny. Look at all its medieval charm. Welcome to Winterland Ski School, the world's first automated ski resort. Hmm. That voice sounds awfully familiar. This place is weird. This must be the automated gondola. Ah, the wonders of the modern age. <laughs> Come along, Brain. Pets are allowed. <laughs> the Winterland Gondola traverses 19,000 feet with the highest vertical drop in the world. Uncle, are you sure this thing is safe? Why, as safe as the ground I'm standing on. Go, go, get it on! And now what do you say, Uncle? I'm calling the maintenance department. This gondola hasn't been serviced in months. automated ski lesson will begin. Not only the first, but the last. I've never heard of an automated ski lesson. As long as your feet are on the ground, Penny, nothing can go wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not at all, Penny. Just relax and enjoy the scenery. It's an easy flight down with my gadget umbrella. Go, go, Gadget Brella. Mm. Go, go, Gadget Brella. Mm. Gadget Brella, go! Gadget, go, Brella, Brella, Gadget, Gadget! Ah! Like I said, Penny, as long as your feet are on the ground, nothing can go wrong. The problem is keeping your feet on the ground. The beautiful thing about a modern resort, Penny, is it's totally unspoiled by crowds. But, Uncle Gadget, there's not even an instructor here. Don't worry, Penny. As a former champion skater myself, I'll show you how the pros do it. No, Ray, not like that. Bend your knees more. Like this. Uncle, look! Wowzer! Our ice rink has become an iceberg. We're heading straight for that waterfall. Stay calm, Penny. With my gadget arm, you're free from harm. Go, go, gadget arms. Boom. Uncle. No problem. Go, go, gadget ring. Come on. Get it, Penny. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, Uncle Gadget, are you okay? Good going, Brain. Keep cranking. Gosh, Uncle, you are really cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stay calm, Penny. I'm on a secret mission. Chief, are you there? Another self-destructing message. Mad will use strange animal to disrupt games. Don't worry, Chief. No need to fear when Gadget is here. Now, Mad Cat, Mad's ultimate weapon, the abominable snowman. <laughs> Oh, 
the perfect vantage point. From here, I can survey all of Winterland. I've got a strange suspicion I'm being followed. Hmm, very strange. Very strange indeed. Go, go, gadget copter! Any here, Brain? Oh. Follow him! Phony feathers. I wonder if that could be the animal. Police, show me your face. You'll do your explaining behind box. Don't try to run. I've got you surrounded. Wow! Police, you're under arrest. I said you're under arrest. Would you mind answering a couple of questions? Thought you got rid of me, eh? There's no escape from Inspector Gadget. Give up! All right, buddy, that's it. You're under arrest. Now for the ski jump competition. Next jumper, please. Ready, set. <laughs> Welcome to New World Record! <laughs> Time is running out for Green Team. A break. Walk! <laughs> Incredible! Stay calm, everyone. Inspector Gadget has everything well in hand. <laughs> Good work, Snowbat. Now bring him to the castle. Surrender now, monster. It's your last chance. Brain! Brain! Take <laughs> laser homing device and follow Uncle Gadget. All right. <laughs> now I'll tune in my computer on this electronic creep's frequency. Brain, my loyal friend, what are you doing? Free boss! Brain, you're freeing the suspect. Now I've got its frequency. Stop, please. Destroying private property is a federal offense. Now, monster, self-destruct! Look over there, Brain. It's Dr. Claw's secret shuttle. Yet, Gadget, I'll get you. <laughs> Wowzers! What have you done with my dog? Hey, come back here! Bring my dog back here! Hey, you monster! You dumb monster! Gold medal for best demonstrating the Olympic spirit. Oh. Oh. Uh, Inspector Gadget. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I'm flattered. Remember, kids, snow sports provide us with good exercise and fun. But like any sport, you should be careful so you don't get hurt. Observe the rules. Remember, never ski by yourself. And always remember the principles of sportsmanship. <laughs> And last but not least, never bring your dog to the ski slopes. Um, attention. Friends, I've been out there, and the people, they need some holiday cheer. It's your time to shine. You gotta cuddle your way into their arms.
their hearts until there's a smile on every face. So, who's in? I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Visit SproutOnline.com Get on your way Get your dad Get your mom Get on SproutOnline.com All your favorite friends Are here to say hi Hi Sproutlet Much to see and do You just a click or two Get on the ball And get in the know Get on the go Everybody comes along To SproutOnline Um, attention! Friends, I've been out there, and the people, they need some holiday cheer. It's your time to shine. You gotta cuddle your way into their arms, their hearts, until there's a smile on every face. So, who's in? Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong, it even works underwater. Now you can repair leaks in pools and spas without draining them. Flex Tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. Flex Tape is super strong, and once it's on, it holds on tight. And for emergency auto repair, Flex Tape keeps its grip, even in the toughest conditions. Big storms can cause big damage, but Flex Tape comes super wide, so you can easily patch large holes. To show you the power of Flex Tape, I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only Flex Tape. Not only does Flex Tape's powerful adhesive hold the boat together, but it creates a super strong watertight seal. So the inside is completely dry. Yeah, down there! Just cut, peel, stick and seal. Imagine everything you can do with the power of Flex Tape. from the Von Ruff Institute of Aversion Therapy. 
says they can break any bad habit in man or beast in just two days. Oh, how do they do that? Uses the latest scientific techniques. My, my, what won't they think of next? Stop! <laughs> Stealing April 9th, May 20th, June 6th, and 9th. You have a criminal addiction to fish. I'm afraid I have no choice but to... Please don't send Heathcliff to jail, Your Honor. I think there's a way to cure him. Let's hear it, then. These folks at the Von Ruff Institute guarantee they can break any bad habit in man or beast. I think we should try it out on Heathcliff. Try it out on Heathcliff? Hmm. I've seen their ads on TV. All right. The prisoner is placed in your custody for aversion therapy. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't like the sound of this. So this is the criminal. Yes, Your Excellency. Please, not to worry. This animal will be cured. Good day. Well, see you later, Heathcliff. You cooperate with the doctor now. He will cooperate, and he will like it. Subject, cat. Object, fish. Goal, destroy taste for... The prisoner, I mean, the patient, is ready, Your Highness. The prisoner? Then we will begin. Huh, this is not gonna be as bad as I thought. Uh, yes! No! Yes, your supremeness. Fish! I smell fish! <laughs> and now for phase two. Phase two, your doctorshipness. Lunch break? Thank you for your excellent cooperation. Relax and enjoy. Oh, boy! <laughs> One more time. Hey, what's going on here? You're not gonna trick me again. Finish your lunch. Good. Now we begin phase three. Bit off my whisker. 
stop this thing! Mom. That was good. Phase three is completed. <sighs> what a relief. Now we begin phase four. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fish. Good. Mm. Stop it. No more. No more. <laughs> Congratulate you. You did a good job. It's over at last. <laughs> 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 prisoner cured of his criminal addiction. Your Honor, Heathcliff not only doesn't want to eat fish, he can't even stand to hear the word fish. Ah! I see. He's afflicted even by the word fish. Ah! All right, bailiff. Yeah! I'm convinced. Case dismissed. <laughs> That came from the kitchen. Someone ate a whole box of chocolate pastries and all the leftover sirloin steak. And my cheese is gone. Who could have done this? I can't imagine who would eat that smelly old cheese. Brrr. Stop that cat! He stole a dish of liver pate and a box of our most expensive crackers! And then he took a whole plate of pâté. Does anyone else have anything to say? I do, Your Honor. Ah. Hmm? Oh. A terrible miscarriage of justice has taken place. It must be corrected. I'm placing Heathcliff in your custody. Be back here in two days. Dr. Von Ruff is going to give you emergency anti-aversion therapy. He will be fine. Please recommend us to your friends. Good day. Bailiff? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Fish! Case dismissed. Here, Heathcliff. I thought you might like to play with this toy mouse. Here's some water for you. Dig in, Heathcliff. There's plenty more where that came from. <coughs> and don't worry, buddy. You'll always have all the fish you can eat. <laughs> Terrible birthday. Nobody remember. Nobody cares. I even lost my hat. Huh? Gosh, somebody did remember my birthday. They even sent a present. Huh? Oh, 
Welcome back here. Uh, hey, Hambone. I'll get you. Oh, gotcha. Come, you cats are giving me a party. Because the Cadillac cats believe everyone should have a happy birthday. Yeah, you know what this kind of reminds me of? That Christmas time not long ago when we were all alone in the snow. Yeah, remember that first Christmas when we all met? <laughs> Picking on that little guy, three against one, and fair. What? Listen, you. Get him. <laughs> I don't know who you are, you big oaf. But if I need your help, I'll ask for it. Got that? Yeah, huh? Stop drooling and go find your own food, you overgrown top. Yeah, but yeah, all I've had in the last two days are scraps. All right, you pest. Come here. I can't stand it! Come on! Did you do a tickling you? <laughs> this arrangement is the pits! Open the truck, find the cat. Tell me, how'd you get where you're at? I curled up in the trunk to get out of the snow. The owner came along and shut the trunk, and here I am. <laughs> Wherever here is. Hey, Ryman Simon, who said you could invite friends? Words worse the name. Rhymes are my game. I'm Hector, number one cat. I'm number one. You're out. Yeah, why don't we all be friends? You want to be friends with these jerks? Stay with them. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Seasons, greetings, you beautiful thing. I'll show you a beautiful thing. from this junkyard. Look, let's get out of here. Follow me, guys. I remember this part. Leroy, guarding this junkyard is your last chance. Mess this up like everything else, I'll throw you out of the force. Yeah, what are we gonna do, Miss Cleo? Yeah, we can't get back in the junkyard. 
there's one way you might be able to get back in. But you'll all have to work together. <laughs> wow. Hello, nice guard. Santa has a present just for you. Yeah, hey, guys. Oh, boy. Is Santa here? Oh, uh, uh yes. Santa's... Hi there, big guy. Name's Rudolph. You heard of me, right? Listen, old dog buddy. Santa here is real excited. All the trips to be made, presents to be given. It's tough on the big guy, understand? For me? Wow. Bang! Uh, Santa? You forgot your... See, you can work together. And you'd better do it again. Now! You fooled me! You're not Rudolph! She hey, that's a little joke. Since you live in a music store, can you get our friend a stereo headset? His radio is driving me nuts. Sure, handsome. <laughs> That's how the Cadillac cats were born. And now it's time for the birthday presents. We noticed you lost your hat. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have. A hat from a cat. That's where it's at. Watch it, you big dog. I can't help it. This is the best birthday anyone could have, ever. It's like, like Christmas. Mm. Oh, my <laughs> I'm so proud of everyone, Rip Rap. Especially you. Bobby, you've got to train the puppy not to jump on people. It can scare them. Oh, Dad, he's little. Well, that's why you should train him now, yeah! before he's big. I see what you mean, Dad. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. 
Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong, it even works underwater. Now you can repair leaks in pools and Mr. Leonard, don't work too late now. Just closing up. Nothing much happens around here after dark. Listen up, fat cat burglar. I'm giving you one last chance to hand them over before I cash in your coupons for you. It is you, the great Dex detective who's about to take a fall. Or should I say, be pushed. If I had a raisin for every time I've heard that one. Exterminated! Hey, hairless hamsters. Want some of this? Uh -huh. well. My mother would be so ashamed. Okay, it's just you and me, fat cat. Now fork over the little guys and no one gets hurt. Never! I'm sending you to the cooler, burglar. I'm gonna kill you! No! No! Stop! You wouldn't! I just want to be loved. Is that so wrong? Dex, 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 darling. 
at it, Schnapper here. This makes 500 consecutive cases you've solved as head of the United Supermarket Defense Association. What's your secret, darling? The secret's inside. The real secret is I am scared out of my mind, Dan. Tonight's the night. Ah, no worries. You can do it. As long as you got me to help you. Did I mention me? What do you think? Whoa, what the... You could four carrots? What did you do about the food bank? Yeah, but do you think she'll like it? What if she doesn't like it? Relax, bro. We're talking about sunshine goodness. You could give her a Cracker Jack ring and she'd still say yes. Everything's got to be just perfect tonight. Now, you sure you know what to do? You think you're talking to? Come on. I'm your best friend, Daredevil Dan. The most stunt-flying, death-defying, chocolate-like. One more thing. Will you be my best man? That's... This is... I didn't know. <laughs> you... You bet your box top. You my man. Sunshine, over here! Good kick! Way to go, buddy! Oh, you guys are doing great! You're Melon Ball superstars! so nice of you it was of course the way you saved dex from that melon ball that's what friends are for right <laughs> dude's lost a step for real hungry tough guy hiya kitten how about we get chef boyardee to make us a huge feast humongous dinner my treat oh pizza great idea hey i'll take an extra gotta fly see you later danny Sunshine. Or we could play stickball with Mr. Clean. Well, uh, actually, I scanned, or I mean, planned something, or something special tonight. Hmm. Let me guess. A romantic hot air balloon ride, perhaps. Oh no, you just did that. Was it scary up there with those itsy bitsy hairless hamster henchmen? I would have tussled with them myself. Really? Don't believe me? Listen, Sherlock. Just because every Ike in town relies on you to protect them, doesn't mean that I couldn't kick your butt. Anytime. <laughs> you want some? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it warms my heart the way you love my raisins, tough guy. <laughs>
Mignons and an outstanding array of fruits and vegetables. Stay away from the Brussels sprouts and forget about it. For dessert, we got mm, ice cream, my favorite. You want a lick? Yes. No, no, no. no. Oh, Jax, this is so great. Sunshine, you mean the world. What? You mean the world to me, Maximilius? Hey, I like you too. Oh. You mean, huh? I just want to take care of you, baby. I do feel so safe in your arms, and I'm so proud of you, Dex. But I worry when you're on a dangerous case. I'll be fine. Have to be. To make sure nothing bad ever happens to you. Always, Dex. Forever, kitten. Here goes. Sunshine. Next time, a doll face boss! <laughs> He's gonna crash again! It looks like Danny's drawing a picture. Of us! That's so cute! But what's he trying to draw in your hand? What I've been trying to ask you all night. Oh no! He's not gonna try to... You gotta loop the loop to make the engagement ring? For fine out loud, you never made the loop the loop. No problem, cause I'm gonna save the day and... Fly away! Come on, Danny, you can do it this time. Sunshine, with me. Save the day and... Not today. I better go check on Danny just to make sure he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. Dan always crashes. Like yesterday, for example, and the day before. And... When in doubt, just do the right thing and it'll always turn out. But I was trying to ask you... Don't worry. It'll just be a minute. Save my ice cream. I'll be right back, okay? I don't understand it. Sunshine went to check on you right after the crash. No, I told you, dog. I didn't crash. I just... That was hours ago. Where is she? Come on, man. You know Sunshine? Sweetest Ike in the Marketropolis? She probably ran into a friend and needed a help. Why didn't I just do it? Come on, it's getting late. I mean early. You know our rules. We gotta be out of sight before the market opens. We can't let the people see it. But I never got to ask her to walk down the aisle with me. Chill, dog. You can pop the question tomorrow night. <laughs> Don't worry. It ain't like it's the last time you're ever gonna see sunshine again. <sighs> sunshine, baby. May I help you? You must be Leonard, the manager. I'm your new brand X representative. I wasn't expecting any new products. A corporate picture store to test the new brand X detergent. With Alexa. Brand X, huh? 
Never heard of it. Give us one week. Your customers won't know how they lived without bread hands. Well, everything is so nice the way it is. We don't have space. Oh, I'll make space. <laughs> Wait until you get a whiff of a brand X elixir. It's practically addictive. It was a perfectly good bag of chips. Survival of the fittest, Leonard. Never opened, never enjoyed. No one wastes me chips and gets away with it. Brand X will. Hey. Sunshine. Help me, Dex. Please find me. Please. I'll find you, Sunshine. Don't leave me. Sunshine. Dex. Sunshine. Dex. Hey, pal. You were having a nightmare again, weren't you? Hey, buddy, look, I miss it too. But dude, it's been six months. Sunshine's gone, bro. We gotta accept it. I can't. I failed her. Yo, it wasn't your fault. You you kept this place running smooth as a smoothie and all of us safe. Just, just look at all these articles talking about all the millions of cases you solved. Oh, yeah? What about these? Raisin riddle a mystery. Leads dry as prunes. Sunshine goodness, gone without a trace. Dex dog detective hangs up his hat. The only case that ever really mattered, and I couldn't solve it. Now she's gone. Sunshine. My only sunshine. Okay, so your detective days are over. Kaput. But now, brother, you got a club to run. And you can bet the Copa Banana's gonna be buzzing tonight. Everybody's gonna be talking about how Crispy's bag got crunched. Anyway, uh, you want a lift? I got my wings right outside. Fly with you? I'm sad, but I'm not crazy. Okay, you cool? See you tonight. Yeah, thanks, pal. Whoa! It's just not the same without you, Sunshine.
For those <laughs> lonely bachelor nights, then here's good news. I am the weasel for you. Names don't ring no bells. From Paul, a penguin ice queen. Is it just me? Or is anyone else called? Put a dress on me and call me Shirley. You softy, you. I love this guy. If you're ever in frozen foods with the dog Hector, you've got a friend. It's a nice tonight. Follow 
follow me and uh, watch the tail. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at the table. I'm stuck in the mud. It's so disgusting. You know, two of us got to know I'm loving more. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Got milk? Do I look like the Dairy Queen to you? And besides, haven't you had enough? It sure does a body good. Get a life. Oh, I'm worried about him. <clears throat> Crush me bags, Willie. I'll make Brandex pay, I will. It's hard to lose something you care about, Cap. Uh, you better go easy on the potato juice before you get... Chip faced. Yo, Dex, check it out! We got us a hot new delivery, the brand next detergent like Lady X, and she's got a real sweet tooth with chocolate! I'm the eye in wow, the cat meow, the kaboom in pow, and I'm here right now. Wow! I say hello when you feel your heart go like a bass drum, boom, boom, boom. You'll remember the snap for the rest of your life. My sweet perfume Hip, so hip From my head to my toes To my fingers hips Produce bars in all the supermarkets in all the world. She had to walk into mine. Dex Dog Detective. I've already heard so much about you. I'll gossip. My favorite kind. <laughs> that scent. Something familiar. My secret ingredient. You like it? It's amazing. Yo, baby! <laughs> Who's your sugar daddy? <laughs> Hands up. Hold your anchor! There be something dirty about this detergent. Now is that any way to talk to a lady? You got something to say, Candy Arse? Yeah, salt lick, you can kiss my additives. We're not leaving till this here wench tells us why her rep stomped me poor bag. Is it really my fault you have inferior packaging? Yeah, bro, you ain't exactly new and improved. Spuds fire you! <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. You are a good eye. Suddenly I hate you. Sorry, I don't know what comes over me. <laughs> but it's like this. Ah, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. Watch the eye. Watch the eye. Back to the tree. Guys. Back to the tree. <laughs> over. Time to banana split out of my club. What about me? You hanging me out to dry? I'm not sure what to do with you. Come on, baby. Dance your man. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. What can I say? Chicks dig chocolate. Chicks dig chocolate! I told you! I knew it! <laughs> My sunshine, my only sunshine. You made me happy when skies were gray. You never know how much I loved you. Some dog detective you turned out to be. <laughs> Crying over spilt milk. What are you doing here? I'm 
got a hot case for you. I'm looking for a guy about your height. Same great build, same strong jaw. Only difference is this guy isn't living in the past. I... I can't help you. Holy chips. Maybe I can help you get a clean start on a new relationship. So what happened to Dan? You already eat through to his hollow center? He said the sugars and salts were gonna finish what they started. The aisles aren't safe tonight for a helpless lady. Like me. Sorry, I'm not buying this damsel in distress routine. You've been through the wash plenty. I can see it in your eyes. You're right, Tex. I'm not new. Last year I was recalled. But I'm changed now. New ingredients, repackaged with a fresh scent. I want to forget my past, just like you do. I can't forget. No, but you're wrong, Dex. I can wash away your memories. Wait! I haven't shown you my secret ingredient. The secret's inside. Why did I agree to run the United Supermarket Defense Association? Things were so much smoother when Dex was in charge. Oh, Dex, Dex, thank goodness you're here. The salts and sugars, oh, it must have been all out war. How many Ikes went down? Everybody we threw out of the friggin' banana. Dan and Lady X is the only ones missing. And the ladies got an alibi. Dex and I were just talking. I warned him there might be trouble. We all knows when a product loses its icon, it spurls, it goes bad. So what can we do here? Nothing. We're the soul of our products. Without us, they're gone. Real fast. These Ikes didn't expire in a rumble. Somebody just wants it to look that way. Are you saying what I think she's is saying? Riga Moldus has set in. Looks like all these poor Ikes were rubbed out. Yo, but why? How? Dan. Oh, goodness gracious, great he said he was going to get back at the salt. Dan would never do anything like this. We have to find him before the rest of the salts do. Then you better start styling, Harry. Right. What? Me? I can't. Oh, you have to help me, Dex, before I go bald. Not that bald isn't beautiful. I don't get involved anymore. After losing sunshine, boss, I thought you would never smile again. But Dan... He was there for you. But my, my split ends! What to do? Oh no. Nothing harder than seeing good food go bad. Looks oh, like we arrived just in time. Brand X replacements for every Ike lost last night. Now, how'd that Mr. Clipboard guy know? Something's wrong. Danny's in trouble, I just know it. I let you down, Sunshine. I just can't throw in the paper towel on Dan. He was your best friend, too. General X, our esteemed potato chip icon, has just discovered a diabolical plot against cleaning product Ike. Security around here! You stole the train, oh! And who is behind this vicious plan? Who? Oh, oh boy! A specialty Ike. Kung Tofu! But I, a Kung Tofu, am innocent! Everything's out of control! What are we going to do? Well, <laughs> Brand X is 30 strong now. This is our new home. We want to help. Why not let my Ikes maintain order in the aisles? Why you? Dex Store Tech have always mopped up our troubles, Gabish. Let's get him to come back. He quit, but I will never give up. 
because I care what happens to each and every Ike of you. But it's so dangerous. Don't cry for me, Charlie Tuna. Trust me, Brand X will make everything better. You have my promise. We will take care of you. But what about Dex? Oh, we'll take care of him too. Wants the detective. Perhaps he's been very, very bad. No problem. If you weren't so desperately deficient with your coupon dispersals. Oh, I could just kill you. That would be lots of fun. More fun than a spanking. Wait, uh, wait. The detective will be dropped off at the cleaners post haste. Speaking of clean, might I <laughs> interest you in a toothbrush? Uh, I fear this will not end happily for me. Everybody seems to be searching for the flying squirrel. Mayhaps a reward for the reckless rodent would be in the offing? If you've got something up that slimy sleeve, spill the beans. Perhaps I do, and perhaps I don't. I seem to be suffering from a touch of train-induced amnesia. The tricks are for kids, Cheezle. Last night, I saw the chocolate furball heading towards the detergent aisle. You know, home of the lovely Lady X. When? Right after the screaming started, those suspicious... No way. I know Dan. He'd never leave the scene of a crime. Not even for a hot dish like Lady X. But this dish is extra spicy. It just doesn't add up. Wait, wait. May I suggest a calculator? Lucky for you, I just happen to have procured a boatload of fine... like an old friend. Oh, note to self. Need a new friend. I still got it. I thought the raisins were humiliating. Dex? Sorry I'm not dressed. I wasn't expecting company. I'd say things are going exactly how you expected. Being filthy can be loads of fun. Don't you think so, Dex? There are some stains you can never wash out. Let's try. I want to scrub your bubbles, Dex. I want to know how you rubbed out all those Ikes last night. Me? But I was with you. Remember? Yeah. Trying to get me on the case before there even was one. Who put her hand? Aim for the hair! Naughty dog. I've really been on your mind, haven't I? You've orchestrated this dance from the start. I think you hijacked Dan and you've got him squirreled away somewhere. My friend better be alive, or you're gonna check out of this store the hard way. You crashed him, he's fine. For now. But he won't be unless you back Brand X. So that's your game. 
We could run this store, Dex. An aisle all to ourselves, packed tight, no markdowns for us. I could be your sunshine. There will never be another sunshine. Now I'm taking you in. Not before I solve your case for you. Down, boy! Ah! What a shame. We could have been like macaroni and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, scotch and tape. Dex, wake up! Come on, Dex, wake up! Uh, Dan? Dex, my man! I knew you'd sniff me out! Oh. You okay, pal? Is your chocolate chip? It was brutal! She has these, these giant flying mother XL bites that slotted every Ike in sight! But they didn't rub me out because Lady X digs my fine flavor and also sweet bun! Or... Maybe she used you as bait to get to me. Oh, like you're the only Ike who can rescue me, figure out her game, and shut it down. Huh? Oh, yeah, you are. Too late. Not even the great Dex dog tempted can save you now. <laughs> oh. Dex, is it just me, or is it hot in here? After they've enjoyed the extra hot dry cycle, oh, dump their bodies in the toothpaste aisle. The frame toothpaste? No. Everyone knows toothpastes hate sugars. <laughs> We're done soft soaping. Frame everybody. From spray starch to slice salami, from calories to carbs. Then Grand X will step in and replace them all. It'll be a cakewalk. <laughs> We're taking over, so get out there and show them who's running this store! But I, Kung Tofu, Fu, am innocent! What's that got to do with it? I don't get it. I don't understand. I mean, we simply don't care. I am hot! I'm hot, hot, hot! Go to fry! Stay calm. Go to crisp. We just gotta find a way to get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just breathe and focus. The answer will come. What? The answer will come! I'm melting and you're getting all martial arts scent. You can put a fucking socks! That's it. Socks always escape from the dryer. Follow that sock. Ouch! Okay, pal. You're safe now. Yo, 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 wait, whoa, time out. Where are you going? Look, Dan, I just came to find you, but that's oh. it. I yeah, don't... yeah, yeah, don't want to get involved no more. Gotta check, but you might want to take a look at this first. Building an entire army of robotic exobites. What's that oily liquid? Yo, I seen that! It's the same stuff they shot at the Crispy and the other Ikes when they rubbed them out! They must be planning to finish what they started last night. Brand X is gonna take over the entire store. Come on! Let's get him! I'm ready to roll! You with me? Let's hit this! I ain't afraid! Well, I am. You are? R really? Why? You don't understand. I don't know if I can cut the mustard anymore. Yo, Dex! You gotta believe in yourself. If Sunshine were here, she would. You know, I do have an idea. Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Dex Dog Detective is back in the house. But it's really, really, really dangerous. Oh, 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 hold up. Uh, how come you said really three times? I never heard you say that. I've heard really dangerous and really, really, but this is three times. Come on, pal. Let's snap, crackle, and pop out of here. Attention all icons. Curfew is now in effect. Only Brand X officials are permitted in the aisles. All violators will be punished. I do so hope there are violators. I love a good violation. I love anything to do with violations. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> want to know what is going on we need you to analyze this i borrowed it from lady x i think it's the secret ingredient in the brand x brand elixir x oh brand x oh 
why me? Why? Why, Spandex? Why? No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Why not, uh, let's see. You, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Scholes, Dr. Feel Good. Anybody doc, doc, but doc, me. Doc, snap out of it. You're the only one with a nose for the job. <laughs> Ew. Oh, this is just great. Okay. Oh. Give it a whiff. <laughs> it can't be done. Oh, why me? Huh? What's going on? We well, have reports that you're plotting against sugar. Me? I don't even have fluoride. I'm just a whitener. Well, you know, I myself appreciate a good darkener. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 that's not right. That's odd. That's definitely odd. My olfactor meter can't, uh, can't fully identify the main ingredient. Oh, no, this I can tell you. The brand X elixir is toxic to humans and we're toxic. Oh, oh, and highly addictive. Whoa, addictive. Addictive? Okay, so that explains why customers are buying up Brand X products like crazy. How can we regular icons compete against, against, against this irresistible elixir? We can't. Won't be long, and the whole store will be X. The rest of us discontinued. Oh, but there's so many noses left to blow it. Oh, I'm man. too young to be discontinued. I never even got a chance to play lick the icing with sweet cakes. If we could just get this info to our market's corporate headquarters, they'd have to recall Brand X. How could you possibly reach them? You couldn't. You could email from Mr. Leonard's computer. But it's in the expiration station. And at the other end of the store, now you'd never make it there before the supermarket opens. You couldn't, you could try, but you can't reach them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Impossible! Then we cross during the day. Daytime? No one has ever done that, are you crazy? What about all those humans out there? The ones with the big feet, they're never supposed to squash, I mean, see us during the daytime. We'll be killed! But not that I can't handle that, because I can, because I'm a natural ninja. We won't survive another night against Brand X. It's our only shot. It's daytime! We must have lost hundreds of Ikes last night. Come on, pal. Let's get going before we lose any more. Wow, the Jello! Are we supposed to cross over ten aisles of that? If the next thing you hear is clean up on aisle one, you know we blew it. The next thing you're going to hear to be the sound of me eating you for that lunch. The next thing you're going to hear is telling me eating you for lunch. <laughs> Look, you overstocked, overstuffed lunch lizard. My friend Dex, he'll make you stutter with your butter. You won't survive his chimes. Are you crazy? She's huge. Let's strawberry jam out of here. Ah! No, Larry, I am not buying that for you! Miss me? Wait, 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 stop! We could, you know, maybe try to date a bit? A, a movie? A, a lunch? I kill you! Thanks! Batter up, fool! <laughs> Where you go, my chipmunk? I love you. There the day in Mayday, Mayday! <laughs> You need to warn the other Ikes, Brand X is behind the rub outs. Bring as many Ikes as you can to the banana tonight. And thanks, Polar. Thanks for friend the four. The store is now closed. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Trust me, I mean, I'm no math mage or anything, but then we're gonna hit the door. We'll be fine. No way. We're gonna hit. We'll make it. My arms, I feel... <laughs> oh, see, see, I told you we'd make it. You didn't want to listen to me, right? <laughs> With the bug bomb, bro. We, what? Yo, I never should have tried the chip slap crispy. You can't blame yourself, Dan. It's the exobite. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! What are you crazy? You hit someone up here. You think it's duck season? Do I look like a mallard? Hold on. Hold the line. Is that the enticing scent of rich, creamy chocolate? 
Are you chocolate? Are you made of chocolate? Really? That is so sweet. Hi. Oh! Vlad Chocul, chocolate vampire, used to have cards. <laughs> Do you work out? I use the Thymaster. You're looking pretty good for biting it. Excuse me, but they poisoned me like the other Ikes, okay? It's not my fault. Begin with this. What can I tell you? I am the undead, all right? The undead. You know, you, you, you're not dead, but you're not exactly living either. It's sort of like being in summer school. <laughs> oh, come on, that's funny. Now that's funny. Let's not lose our senses of humor. Mandatory security rally tonight. All icons must attend or face the penalty of elimination. How can I help? Upload? Download? Scan? Blue, we're gonna get corporate to recall brand X. Can you bring up a form? Wait, don't tell me. Bittersweet. Do you go out much, by the way? Because I like to dance a little myself. I dance a bit. This instant glue will seal their tomb. <laughs> Lovely word. Tomb. <laughs> Locking us in. What? In, in, in here? With, with him? Hey, 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 back off! I'll work with Blue. You fly around and check for loose vent grates. Have you flipped your flapjacks? They would have glasses they don't need. Would you fly straight? Ow! 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 Oh, golly, that hurt. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Good. Good plan. Maybe we'll just dent our way out of here. Ow! Maybe my eyes aren't that good, but if you would just let me lead. Well, the phrase isn't blind as an eagle, is it? No, it's blind as a bat. What do you think I am? And with you on my back yet? Not that I mind that. Scanning forms. Only two recalls on file. Priscilla Pusley's genetically gigantic prunes. What kind of fool needs a bigger prune? You coming up to something? <laughs> Nobody. Priscilla had the worst sales in store history. Okay, I guess I'll be the bad guy once again and say what everyone's thinking. She's also hideous. <laughs> no, I mean, come on, she's very unattractive. Because she is, she's a prune. What do we expect from her? Why are we shy about these things? Be what you are, that's what I say. In her case, it's horrible. <laughs> and here is the other recall. Sunshine recalled? Who ordered it? No name, address only. Same location as Priscilla Pusley's recall. That's impossible. Sunshine and Priscilla had different manufacturers. Blue, run a search on that address against all the manufacturers on file. Brand X ordered both the recalls. Dex, I just don't get it. Brand X took my sunshine away. Easy, easy, bro. I know how you feel. No, no one can. Not even you. Okay, but look, you gotta stay focused, or Brand X gonna take everything else you love, too. Not while I'm still breathing. Blue, we have to send the form to recall all of Brand X's products. Pull the plug on these traitors. <laughs> the Bye Ix. <laughs> Sending now. What happened? Do you all see it get darker, too? Oh, good. For a second, I thought I was having this. What a mood lighting, though. You devil talk. Look um, at you. Dex? Brand X must have killed the power. But, but the email went through, right? Maybe. But now we can't count on headquarters coming to save us. But you said we ain't gonna survive the night unless headquarters gets rid of Brand X. I don't understand. I don't get it. So what do we do now? Fight. Come on. Let's get up to that vent and over to the Copa Banana. The oven timer's ticking. There are only two kinds of product icons. A desirable, like me. And undesirable. We must send all the undesirables where they belong. The expiration station. Better hope Polar brings a banana boatload of Ikes to the Copa tonight. Look around. Do you 
see an Ike with an inferior product? Turn in the undesirables. Join Brand X for a better way of life. Kiwikawala oh, did no, it. I didn't do any jeepers. There must be some mistake. Hey, hey, wait, where are you taking me? From this day forward, you must prove you are desirable. Soon we will become the model of excellence. Until the entire world is just like us. One store, one X. One store, one X. One world, one X. Of battle ring like thunder in the night. Bound with common brothers, we prepare ourselves to fight. Reporting for duty as infected by my friend, that dog take him. How do you think it'd be so cold, though? We wish to join the resistance. A song. A song. That's swell. But if the boss don't get here soon, we can all... Dex Dog Tattoo has been discontinued. And unless you care to suffer a long, cruel expiration, you will sing your allegiance to Brand X. Brand X, Brand X, it's simple and plain. Brand X, Brand X, it's different but all the same. Brand X, Brand X, it's simple and plain. Brand X, Brand X, it's different but all the same. We want to hear you sing with feeling. I am not the Brand X icon. Je suis Francois Fromage. I shoot less oh. at you, you big weenie-like loser. Don't get smart, cheese ball, or I'll shred you alive. Somebody to be helping me? The cavalry? The rescue? No? Play it. What boss? I said, play it. Go tell the lady this is still my club, and you and your lousy jingle aren't welcome. We will return to pulverize you all. <laughs> pulverizing! <laughs> I love pulverizing. Hey, I knew they couldn't discontinue you. Now without a fight. We have the resistance cornered. We will take no prisoners. Let's do it! We will show no mercy! We've all lost someone. A friend, a neighbor, someone we love. But we can't fight for the way things were. Only for the way things should be. Together, we can stop this tyrant. Now who's with us? I'm with you guys! But could somebody please turn up the heat? We're with you all the way, boss. All right, then. 
Let me show you what I've got in mind. We will exterminate them all! One world, one X, no Dan, no Jack! So, we'll need all the aluminum foil in the store. And that, my friends, is one-stop shopping. Le Brandex comes! Le Brandex comes! This is it. We stop Brandex here tonight. Or it's this store. Then another, till they spread like mold around the world. We have to defend ourselves and people everywhere. Remember our oath to protect and serve ourselves! I have the dirty dog. Cookie Isle, go! Come and get me, baby. Attack and annihilate! Yes, He's on the roof! Get him! Here goes. Marshmallows. What? It's hot chocolate. Fred. Well, maybe a little. Who be attacking now? Cream them!
bad. Dex dog detective. For soon I'll have you sitting up and begging for mercy. Exobites fly! <laughs> <laughs> with the gigantic deadly stingers, and, and there's a ton of them, and, and they want to kill me! is what I think about Darth and myself. Fry their eggs! Familius, phase two, go! Maybe I shouldn't have already eaten that last donut. Food goes right to my butt. It's okay, Maximilius. Being able to do fun things like eating donuts is what we are fighting for. But you might want to keep it under like 40 at a time. But who's are we gonna find to slithers and filthy slime through the sewers, go into enemy territory and cut the power lines to start the lightning storm? Ah, slither and slime? It would appear you are in need of a professional. How do we know you're not with Brand X? According to the lady, I'm the poster boy for undesirable icons. You know, boss, if you don't mind the suggestion, we could fight fire with fire here. Welcome to the war, Weasel. It is far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. Well, you gotta admit, that's not saying much. Oh! Don't do so. New friends not working out. We will stand for what is right. Never back down from the fight.
happening? You lied to me. Lied to you? That's not true. I did no more than you let me do. You handed me this store on a party platter. Frog's legs for dinner. He knows their plan, but refuses to talk. No, no, no. I'll no, take no. that. No, no. Then he won't talk to anyone. Ever again. Knife coming! Oh, enough! I don't like her. She's very neat. Careful, Harry. You value what little hair you have left. What's the point? Of luxurious locks. If you can't look yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Let him go! He'll be exterminated like the rest of them! No one puts Polar in the freezer. I'm marking you down, Shrimp Toast. Wait! It wasn't my fault! I was just following orders! I don't even like her! Lady X promised she would make me tall and thin! Then you finally got your wish. I'm gonna pop your corn, lady. Roll over, Doc Detective. You're mine. My brave cheese puff, Ike. Hang in there, Polar. If you're ever in that big freezer in the sky, you got a friend. Dex. Oh. Use the whole box. Polar would have liked it that way. Dex, Dex, I ran tests on the poison liquid, the exobites are stinging our... Doc, I doc, 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 so what is it? It's a deservative. Okay, imagine the chemical opposite of a preservative, huh? Yeah? One dose causes a victim to spoil in his own unique way. A cookie crumbles, ice cream gets freezer burn. Oh, chips, chip, crackers, crack, aluminum is foiled, don't you see? Snot happens. This is a big booger we're bouncing into. Even I get the picture. We need an antidote. Fast. Damn it, Dex. I'm a nose doctor, not a miracle worker. Go. What is with this guy? He's always asking me to do the impossible things. I can't do the impossible things. If I could do them, they wouldn't be possibly impossible. I'm fine. Nobody saw that. All the lightning rods are in place. I guarantee it. Well, pretty guaranteed. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. I can't guarantee it. Well, I, because my eyes aren't that good. I don't see that well. But my heart's in the right place, if I had one. Now phase two is up to Cheezel the Weasel. That idiot? I mean, fantastic. I'll go check again. Easy, Dan, easy. Dan, phase two ain't gonna work. Not with all those exobites swarming. There's, there's just too many of them. They're refueling their poison inside the Brand X building. Can you fly me over Lady X's aisle? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Except I don't have a death wish. If I can cut off their poison supply, maybe we can turn this thing around. <sighs> they suppose you make it in. There's no way you'll get out. It's suicide. Like Sunshine always used to say, when in doubt, just do the right thing and you can't go wrong. Yeah, man, but 
I don't want to lose you too. Hey, pal, you're the one who convinced me to get back in the game. You never stopped believing in me, even when I stopped believing in myself. It's because you're the best. But if you go in there, you ain't coming out. Don't do it, Dex. You should be here with us. I should have been with you the whole time. But after Sunshine, I just gave up. I let you all down. I know now that my problems are just a hill of coffee beans compared to our store, our world, our family. If I don't make it back, I'm counting on you to take my place, pal. Me? No, I can't. You can do it, Dan. I believe in you. This place won't be the same without you. I won't be. The secret's inside, old buddy. You'll be just fine. So, am I flying or am I walking? All right. Let's win this sucker! My loyal beloved. You got loyal beloved. I want your loyal beloved. Allow me to introduce you. No to self. Cheezle T Weasel rocks. Don't worry, bro. I'm gonna get you closer. Once more into the bleach, my friend. Once more. Uh, uh, Dex? Dex! Day of the day, Dex. Day of the day. Uh, Dex's plan is working! Uh, but I still do not know how. Well, I got me for this guy. Jesus will start in an electrical lightning storm. We put lightning rods on all our buildings to keep them safe. Brand X don't have lightning rods, so it gets destroyed. A true spark of genius. The boss is a regular Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, and, uh, who's Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin with the key and the kite. The lightning. The... What are you lazy in? Eh, forget about it. your knees, dog. I always knew you were damaged goods. I'm not the one who's gonna be puppy whipped, you cold farted itch. Exterminate them both. Her first. Make him watch his sunshine fade away. With great pleasure. Okay then. I'll just leave you to it. I thought that only worked in movies. Oh. Well, 
Well, this isn't very much fun, is it? I think I just wet myself. It feels rather nice. Oh. Oh, Dex, I knew you'd find me. I'm sorry. I thought you were... I'm here. We're together. My world is whole again, kitten. I never stopped believing in you, Dex. And I always kept you close to my heart. My big tough guy. What have they done to you? Rand X. Took my essence. Of course. The perfume smell. That's why it was familiar. The secret ingredient in their elixir. The evil X turned your sweetness, your goodness, into something vile. <laughs> thing could go any minute. As long as I'm with you, nothing else matters. Only one way he can make it in time. Not the... Yes, kitten. The loop-de-loop. -loop. He's never pulled it off. Come on, Dan. Be the man. You gotta be. For them. You can do it, pal. Just believe it. Believe in yourself. Come on. That's it, Dan. The loop-de-loop. -loop. But he'll get it this time. I know he will. Find Lady X. I've got a bone to pick with this guy. No, Dex! You can't! Not a human! You'll be crushed! I'll be fine. Have to be to make sure nothing bad ever happens to you. Maximilius! Lola! Let's bring him down. You got it, boy. Me comprendo big time heavy! Job. It's checkout time. You pompous pipsqueak. I'll stomp you into oblivion. I was hoping you'd say that. I'll crush your little friends into icons, too. can this be happening? Don't you recognize me, Dog Detective? Sunshine's old neighbor? Priscilla? From Priscilla Pusley's genetically giant prunes? But you were recalled. And butt ugly. Quick trip to Brazil for a little plastic surgery, and then back for my revenge. So you built yourself a human robot and recalled Sunshine, then you stole her essence to make your elixir for Brand X. Why? All anyone ever wanted was that Sweet sunshine goodness. Two months I sat on the shelf next to Little Miss Perfect. No one bought my beautifully genetically giant prunes. But how did you get in and out of the store? You're an Ike. Humans. When you look like this, you can get them to do anything. Size only counts for men. <laughs> Clever plan, Puss. But Brand X is being recalled. You'll never get me. I still have my elixir. I'll be back. But enough about me. Let's kill you! Yo, dog! Put your guard up! Sugar smack upside a prune head! Put your arms Forget about it. Boss will never, ever hit a dame. Tell me something. Are those melons real? 
He should put in Papa one. That ain't his M.O. Forget about it. He won't hit her. Not now, not never. But I will. The bimbo's mine. Get ready, lady. Because I'm going to kick you where the sun don't shine. Bring it on. Let's go. You're not so tough now. Sunshine Chip slapped her back to ugly. Gross. It doesn't have to end like this. All I ever really wanted was you. Well, you and world domination. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a spam. Oh, the indignity of it all. Dan, wrap her up and take her to the expiration station for recall with the rest of Brand X. I heard there was a resistance. <laughs> Call me fashionably late. You may be mostly fluff, Harry, but the rest of you is pretty strong stuff. Oh, I'm off. Quick calm down and a shot of toodly pip. Nice work, everybody. Dex, Dex, Dex! I found an antidote to the deservative. It should bring all the eggs back to life. Oh, Joy, let's give it a whiff, huh? I knew you'd save me, friend! <sighs> My, but it's still Joy. Oh, Dex, I'm so proud of you. You saved us all. We saved each other because the secret is inside. Inside all of us. <laughs> all right. See, things really turned out perfect. The good old days are back. With one change, I hope. Sunshine. Will you marry me? <sighs> yes, Dex. <laughs> Anytime that things go wrong, we can work it out. We've been waiting for Now that we're long. married, I want to see what's under that hat. I love you, kitten. We see things so much clearer. I'm so glad now that we're here on the bright side. For a minute there, I almost felt a tear, but uh, must have been that red on you. Uh, this is also beautiful. Uh, why are you afraid to express your emotions? Just take a look around you. You're gonna see. Lots of love and smiling faces. Cut the cheese on that Lieutenant Dex? Mary, but that was just a monster. I was ready to cut loose a Limburger. You got flow. You got style. Que bueno hombre. Mm. Like a dream. Now that we are. can dance a little, cut a rug. I'm uh, very light on my feet. Might surprise you.
So I set the decks. Dex, I'll take all the risks by flying you into the belly of the beast. Then I'll lead the troops into battle while, you know, just just doing whatever you do. And if, hey, thanks, baby. And then I'll do that thing with the buildings. In other words, it was all me, basically. <laughs> hey, give me some sugar, sugars.
by Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong. Hey, Gelatin, how do you like our new home? I would say it's pretty rad. The grass here is softer than before. And if you squish it with your feet in the right way, it makes a cool squeaky sound. Watch. Um, okay, I think I've seen enough. Bye. What about you, Lollipop? Feeling comfortable? I was until you showed up. What? That's mean! Voters, you'd better take note of this! Says the person who got eliminated for inflating our teammate to death. Thank you for standing up for me! It's just my duty to protect any sphere on a cylinder. Land you guys just high five? Um... Uh, no high fives! Only high fours! Oh, I only count one! One is still not far! This is so dumb. Four, can you just tell us what's going on with the competition? So many of us are very confused. Uh, agreed. Ruby, put your times tables away. Four, clarification, please. Um, hello? Four. Hmm. They seem unresponsive. Step aside, Taco. I know what four needs right now. Do 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 four. What's wrong? You look depressed. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know what I am. Where my co-host is. Then let's go to the. Wait, what? Four. Did you just ask where your co-host is? Yeah. Where is X? Four. You told X to leave you, and we know exactly where he is. Yeah, right now he's playing patty cake with two, because they're best buds now. <gasps> you mean you can bring him back? Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Because if you did, that would bring back the spirit of BFB! Contestants, I have assembled you here today to retrieve X. <laughs> yeah, I never agreed to that. Well, you're gonna do it and like it. No, it's too hard. Well, Baloney, I saved your life all those years back. Don't you wanna help me get X? No. What about you, Black? No! Bubble? No! Fiery? No! Gelatin? No! Leafy? No thanks! Closer? No! Ruby? No siree! Spongy? No! Taco? No! Teardrop? Woody? No! No! Lollipop? Take a wild guess. No thanks! Flower? The answer was, is, and will always be no! Call story. But what if I add back the original BFDI as a prize? Fourteen of you. One of my split you into two. Uh, two. Two.
Two teams of seven, based on whether you're colored closer to four color or X color. Oh darn, looks like I've been judged by the color of my food coloring once again. Perhaps I should use this paint bucket to change my color. Then I could avoid being on the same team as Balloonie's ruthless murderer. So I X colored, huh? I never thought of it that way, but I guess I am. Who else is with me? Oh yes, it's season one's winner. I can steal winning strategies from him and Blocky's here too? Awesome, he can carry out my assassination missions and no way, Loser's on my team too? His super fame can help me get sales for my new fashion line. Can you be quiet? I like my new team so much better than I am. Hey, Thor, can I name my lovely team now? That'll be a future contest. Oh, Ruby, I don't know if I like our new four-colored team. Why not? You've got me, and Teardrop will never say a bad thing about you. That's true, but she's here too. Oh, her? You two never got over your awkward frenemy face, huh? No. Well, why don't we resolve it now? Ruby! Ruby, now's not the time. Sorry. Oh, I'm just so worried. Hey, look at the bright side of things. At least you're not on the same team as Blocky, who's murdered you 2,763 times. That is nice, but hold on, aren't you and him both red? Wait, you're right. Hey, Thor, why am I on a different team from Blocky when we're both red? Why do you want to be on the same team? Quit squabbling! So whichever team gets X back to me wins, and the other team is up for elimination. Go! Wah, 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 wah. Oh no! Woody's scared that we'll never be able to get X. New comrades, we need not fear. Our team is X-colored, so we're sure to win. And how do you know, Cuboid? <clears throat> See that spot of saliva on the ground? Saliva! My poison! Oh no! Ah! Loser! That's disgusting! Say it with me! X marks the spot! X marks the spot! By the laws of nature, X must come here on his own to mark this very spot! Sounds like pseudoscience to me. Leafster! How are we gonna get X? By using our imagination! Okay, bye. Bubble, you got any ideas? Uh, um, uh, loyal. Bubs, I got an idea. Right before her unforgivable elimination, our mystic alliance leader, Pencil, gifted me her most prized possession, urging me not to open it until the stars align. I have safely guarded this treasure for many moons until Snatch! Well, let's use it! Free Smart Super Van! Yay! Let's get in! Why don't we just drive around the hills? Lollipop, you're hurting my brain! I don't know what around means! Also, why do you bring that paint bucket with us? None of your business. Loser? What's up? I think you're a great leader, but this X marks the spot thing isn't working. A fan is out of me? No. If you believe it'll work, then it'll work. Oh, okay. I'll believe harder then. <laughs> Yo, Taco. We both have rotting flesh in our heads. Why don't we form an alliance? An alliance? Flower, that strategy might have worked on me nine years ago, but today? You can't win me over that easily. Aw, oh, come on! I was just- Hold on, what's this with you and rotten flesh? Oh, um, well, uh, I mean- <sighs> Oh, Flower. I can explain! You have six petals now. Huh? Oh, oh gosh, that's embarrassing. My bad. Now you have four. OMG, I, I'm really messing up, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you are. 
Come back to me when you can keep your story a little more consistent. Ha! Are you screwed up again? We're here to take X back! Okay, who's getting out to grab X? I thought you volunteered to- No! I said I was gonna stab- Want me to do it? No, you're too fragile! Oh, for blob's sakes! Where's Teardrop going? Oh, no, you didn't! I personally like X as our host! Yeah, X is the kindest host of the three we've seen by far. I hardly remember meeting the pulsating cyborg box, but I'm confident X is nicer than even him. X was fair for me when Paluni tight. You'd better not take our precious eggs from us. Hey guys, don't fear. Why don't we just glue X to the ground? That doesn't sound fun. But Coiny, don't you know that contact with glue can damage your skin? Well, it damages your skin indeed. Hey, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Besides, I bought some glue that's certified to be gentle on numeric membranes. But where is it? Switcheroo, we can too. Got it. Now X will get to keep hosting our show. Yeah. So long, you four fanatics. And next time, stick to your own lame host, who I hate. Quick, throw out the lasso. <laughs> I hate lassos. Bye-bye, silly boy. I have valued our time together. I'm telling you, loser, your X marks the spot strategy is utter nonsense. Yay! X has marked your saliva spot with orange paint. It was my strategy that worked. When your team wins, the other team with the four colored contestants loses. Viewers at home, vote who you think should stay. Type the letter with the square brackets to save one of these guys. The one with the least votes leaves the show next episode. Last episode, over 59,000 of you voted, but I noticed that half of you still aren't subscribed. That is why, after you vote, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you see who gets eliminated when the next episode comes out. Carrie and I really want to say thank you so much to our new team who we've hired last month. You guys did an incredible job this first episode, and I look forward to making many future episodes. So to both the crew and to you viewers out there, thank you, and see you in BFB 18. Eight, one, two. You're back, are you? Hmm, it depends. How good are you at patty cake? I'm super pro. Yay! Then I'm happy as well. Get in, Teardrop. We're going shopping. Oh, I guess now we gotta head all the way back. Just look at the silver lining. More bonding time for new friends. Do I have to remind you that you killed me one time? Did you know we have already lost the challenge? Win! I may be sweet, but my news is not. Hey, Spongy. Goo. Nice to be back. Goo. That's awesome. Now, I don't normally do this, but here's a welcome back gift. Whoa, team. It's a friendship bracelet. Try it on. Material? Let me get that down on paper. You look amazing, Spongy. Thanks, Poco. What? <laughs> But today, you can't win me over that easily. Oh, come on! Yeah, Taco, why Spongy and not me? Now 
raging flower. It's elimination time. What? Didn't the other team lose? Oh, oh yeah. Oopsie. So, for our color team, you disappointed my own color last time by losing the contest. Shame! Whichever team ever got the fewest votes will leave the show! I thought it was whoever got the most votes. Well, we're changing it up. And why? Or <coughs> you promised me no more screeching! Oh, right. Sorry, Lolly. Oh, she's not working up. Maybe she needs more padding? More comforting pads! We'll reveal the six of you who are safe one by one. That's my job! Oh, I'm so nervous! Bubble! It's pronounced nervous. Say it with me. Nervous. Ner ner nervous? There you go! Um Leafy got the most votes from fans at 11,000 out of the total 51,000! Yay! I'd like to thank my family and friends who supported me along the way, and Fiery and- No speeches! Your prize is this duct tape! Hmm. Hmm. Teardrop, who cannot talk, is safe! And Lollipop, who also cannot talk, is also safe! Bubble and Jelly are safe! Hooray! Now I'm not Neuervis anymore! <laughs> hey, Gelatine, that's not fair! You know what, Bubble? Accents? They can change! Oh no, I'm feeling so much pressure again! This is not good! Sorry, Mommy, did I do a no-no again? Baloody! Ruby! One of you will be eliminated today! Leaving us with our final 13! Who's it gonna be? Well, tell us already! I don't like all this waiting! Eh, I could wait longer. Oh, alright. Bye, you guys. I enjoyed my stay. Now, suck me up for... Oh. Um, there aren't any empty spots left in the exit. <laughs> um, in that case, where are you going to send me? We're gonna send you here! Whoa, this is kind of spooky! Uh, well, goodbye, fellow contestants! Oh, oh, here I go! I'm... For where are you sending Balloon Boy? I hope he'll be okay. He's going to BRB! Oh, he's going to be right back? That's a relief. In the meantime... Hi guys, I missed the elimination. Baloney, can you give me a recap? Bubble, look up. So, this means you got eliminated? Yeah, this is awkward. No! We're getting you back, Looney! I'm gonna catch you brick by brick! Why? She's on our team. Well, then are you going to help her? Also now. I volunteer to take her down! <laughs> you two hives of wretchedness must not waste energy fighting! Unless it's in a fairly mediated competition! a brick tower to protect and another to destroy i think i see some rocks you can use but yeah the first team to get their tower knocked down loses go 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 you really went for that one huh yes okay four colored friendos we're down one member from the other team so if we want to win we'll have to put our heads together nice time i tried that i died I say we impersonate and infiltrate. Their tower doesn't stand a chance if we can get inside it. Good plan! But who do we impersonate? It can't be Loser. Last time I impersonated him, I got arrested and put on probation.
Oh, I know just the person. Guess whose merch I bought when we went shopping? Whoa, Luther, it's so cozy in this new tower. I agree. Four makes me so proud. Who could that be? <laughs> Um, it's me, Flower! No, Bubble, you're Bubble! Yeah, Bubs. Why did you think they'd believe that? You have to talk the flower way, like this. Ooh! What? Lollipop, you're trying to trick us too? Hey, it's me, Flower. Oh my gosh, Flower! The worst thing just happened! Bubble and Lollipop tried to impersonate you! Wow, some people are just so vicious. What? Why? Fiery! That skeleton right there! He's impersonating me too! Nice try, imposter, but I know my friend Flower when I see her! Wait, Fiery considers me a friend? <laughs> Whoever you are, your flower costume isn't very convincing! Where'd you buy these petals? Skeleton's fake house? Wait, no! I don't shop there! I pick a more fashionable store than that! But you bought them at a store, huh? What? Your little stick is over, bub. Or should I say, Dora? This is ridiculous! I'm not Dora! Good riddance! <laughs> <sighs> Blocky, help me out! Toss this rock into the other team's tower! Whatever you say! <laughs> Well, that was a try, at least. Hey, maybe you shouldn't have given me the world's heaviest rock. <gasps> the other team stole our idea! Three, two, one, toss! <laughs> Four-colored team! More like muscle-smaller team! Flower, I thought we signed a truce to the insulting war of 19. Quit blabbering and help me push these rocks! <laughs> oh gosh, um, X, you can move out of the way. We're falling behind! Where's Lollipop, or Bubble, or even Gelatin? We're back. Yeah, Gelatin's still undercover! Great job, team! You guys are back so fast! And I bet Gelatin's destroying the other team's tower super well! Flower, you gotta be kidding me! You're not doing any work! Neither is your deodorant! I got a new plan! Loser! What are you doing? That's my favorite- Oh! Now watch this! Ooh. Ah! Hey, Fiery! Got anything sharp? Well, I found this coiny slapping glove from years ago, and it's kind of sharp. Perfect! Now watch this! Okay, X-colored friends, climb up here! If we cross the bridge, we can destroy the other tower. Isn't that a wonderful plan? Yeah! It's just my duty to give you guys the best possible- Loser! Look, they're coming. <gasps> Alright, anyone on our team got the guts to go across first? Woody! You wanna do it? Wah, wah. That sounds like a yes to me! Go! Who's next? Who's next? Tora, what are you doing here? Oh, for battles! Teapot contestants do not belong in this battle arena! <laughs> Don't look down, Woody. Just look forward. Forward is safety. Whoa, 
Whoa, that was crazy! Am I the only one left on this thing? That's a no from me! Please, please, don't fall off! Fight! 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 Hey, hey! Leafster! What are you waiting for? Go do your thing! Go fight! Um, oh, um, this is a little weird, isn't it? Um, but I would like to pass. I don't like fighting. There's no time for passing. Four's clock is almost up. What if we fake fight? <sighs> That's not gonna cut it. Leafy's fake fighting and real fighting look the same to me. Look, I'm doing jumping jacks. Cool, right? Not cool. At all. Pew! 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 Ha! Huh? This roof could use a remodel, but it's doable. Who built this? Wait, uh, this is not doable! Oh my god, it hurts! I'm punching fiery! I'm punching fiery! No, you're punching the air. See? He's retreating in fear. Wait, why is he retreating? Whoa! No longer exists, so their team automatically loses. Because the four colored team has a place to live, they are the have nots. Because the X color team doesn't, they are the have nots. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Carrie. You might know me as the person who voices X. And I just want to let you know that you should vote for the person on the have nots team that you want to save! Who do you like the best? Type their letter in square brackets and post it in a comment on this video! Whoever gets the least votes will be eliminated. Subscribe to our channel. Our goal is 200 Vigintillion subs. And we also have a TikTok now, which I know is controversial, but I feel like I have to do it because BFDI mentioned TikTok in 2011, so it's just my calling. Pop, get in, buddy! About time you showed up. Alright, Pop Pop! Don't call me that. The radio is broken, so I just thought I'd sing for you. La la la, driving with my friend! This is so much fun! Enough of that. No more singing. Today, tomorrow, ever. I hate it. Hey, Leafy, come on in! <laughs> Hi, Woody! <sighs> La la la, la driving la, with my friend, la la la, la driving friend. with my friend. Get me out of here. Somebody help. Why won't they stop singing? La la la, la la la, so fun! Oh my sugar, the radio, it's back on. So you guys don't have to sing anymore. We can listen to actual music. I guess. You must stop driving over X's garden! Yeah! You've already trampled his aloe vera plant 73 times! That was mean! 73 times? We've driven over the same spot 73 times? Yeah, we got home hours ago. I just drove in circles so we could have more sing-along time with Leafy. Wasn't it so much fun, so much bonding, and I saw in the back mirror that you- Four and I 
have brought you here today for a public service announcement. Yeah. You need to respect my aloe vera more. And that means... Okay, we'll respect it more. But don't we have to do cake at steak? Oh! Um... He's right, you know. The show must go on. Oh, all right. Last time, so whichever of you got the fewest votes will lead BFB. If you're safe, come pick up your prize from this table. But the aloe vera is in the way. Hold on, Spongy. Where'd your friendship bracelet go? The one I gave you? Anyway, first contestant safe is Fiery. Ah! Oh! Ah! Original returners. I support you, Blocky. I would support you, Spongy, but I don't see you wearing any friendship pride. Which contestant is safe? The last prize goes to Good old Blocky! Oh yeah, this guy is a butler. Oh, Spongy, I'm sad to see you go. I'll make sure your spaceship is taken good care of. My what? Your spaceship, the one you rode to avoid the lava apocalypse. Thanks. Now is when you do your snap thing. Oh, right. It's really important that you guys know that the spaceship isn't able to- <laughs> Nice knowing you, old pal. Ikes, are you actually trying to grow aloe vera? Y yeah Well, Ikes, I should let you know aloe vera can't grow in this bio. Ah, uh, why not? Too little sun. Oh, so that's why they're still so small. <laughs> I always thought it was for a different reason. Gotcha. Oh, poor Ikes. Well, I want to help my co-host out. So that's this week's challenge. Oh, I'm still super confuzzled. You two teams shall improve the sun so X's crops can grow better. Hold up. Improve the sun? What the meat does that mean? That means whatever you do to the sun that helps X's aloe vera grow, you'll win points. Do the opposite and you lose points. Oh, okay. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. Go! Guys, I remember from season one, Spongy Spaceship might have a super speed mode laser that we can use to fire at the sun. Good plan. I'll help you look for it. I, as Fiery's friend, will follow too. Woody, you want to go in there too? Wait. Where's Woody? He's still in the air after you kicked him. Aw, oh, man, I kind of miss the little guy. Maybe you should be a little gentler on him then? Anyway, come on, let's see what's inside Spongy's ship. Okay, girls, what's our plan? How do we even get to the sun? Why must we do the sun's bidding? I say the sun comes to us. Molly, the universe doesn't work that way. Well, we might not be able to reach the sun, but we can alter its rays. What are you saying, Roopster? I'm a lens. Whoa! Oh my gardenia, Ruby! You're a genius! Someone, uh, teardrop, go tell Four about this. <laughs> Ma? You're right! Plus one point for the half cuts! M minus two points for the half cuts! Ruby!
Blocky, you're not going in? Nah, I'ma let them handle it. Why not? Isn't mischief, like, your thing? <laughs> well, I used to be in the spotlight a lot. Back before your time, I had the show called... Blocky's Buddy Doings International. Hey, guys! For a prank, suspend the fiery recovery center above a lake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blocky, you're a funny doer. You do funny things. How about we do stuff instead of sitting around and reminiscing about it? I remember that one time I reminisced. In fact, the viewers are getting so bored, I'm even making shadow puppets to entertain them. So you're saying I should do more funny doings? Yes! I'm saying that you... Drop gold! I found it. Now press it! Not yet. First, we need a drum roll. We do? Yeah. Bubba, you yeah? How do you know so much about aloe vera? Oh, I'd be happy to answer. It helps keep my skin hydrated so I don't pop from dryness. Choke it out! Oh! Well, I'm happy to hear it works for you! What about you, Pipsqueak? Why do you want to grow aloe vera? You got an answer, so now you must give an answer. Um... 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 You don't have to answer! Only do it if you're comfortable! No, I can answer! I just gotta think about how to word it! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see... Yes, BFB3! Oh my! Oh my! And he burned you? What a monster! Don't worry, X, I'll avenge you! too hot now. You think? X sounds like he's hurting! Maybe we should help him? I think you guys should! And I've got just the antidote to help him! Yeah! yeah we, we know, know what, what to, to do! do. Ah. We gotta use ice to shrink the sun! Hey guys, where did we even find this spaceship? It's made of cardboard. I don't know. I think a friend donated it to me. Well, which friend? Hmm, don't remember. Probably not important. Hey guys, for a break, build a really shabby rocket ship out of cardboard. Give it to your enemy team. Then, as they fly towards the sun, watch them burn slowly and painfully. Check it out. Three, two, one. This program was brought to you by Blocky's Funny Doings International. I wanted to tell them my ship isn't able to resist heat. Oh, hey, Balloony, what are you doing here? It's up to you to pick which of the six members you want to save the most. Who do you like? Type their letter in square brackets in a comment on this video. And whoever gets the least of those votes is getting the boot. You better vote for the right person. Yeah, 
that will take us to our final 11. Anyway, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing because you don't have to. And I'll see you later. Thank you. It's too much hand waving. Yeah. Four, there is still something very wrong with this situation. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that can be next month's challenge. Oh! <laughs> um, guys, how are we able to breathe in outer space if there's these open windows? Hmm? I wonder what outer space tastes like. Yeah. It's covered by plastic wrap, Ruby. Oh, that's a relief. Man, I really want to know what space tastes like, though. Whoa, it's so cool we get to be in space again. It's just as tranquil as I remember it. Meaning, not very tranquil. Gah, why would you say that, Lolly? The last time you were in space, you got obliterated by a laser. Not true! We're not getting him, Leafy. Time for super speed mode. But don't you know how much energy that wastes? You have to be more eco-friendly, I mean... Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I did get obliterated by a laser, but getting obliterated by a laser isn't that bad. Really? Yeah, actually, it's pretty comfortable. Let me show you. See? Didn't that feel nice? I got it. Hmm. <laughs> Taste otherworldly. Uh, gelatin, you'd better keep your tongue in there. What did you say? you more thrilling experiences, especially when you are dying. Wasn't it cozy? If you call excruciating pain cozy. It's an alliance member's duty to give other members air. <sighs> Care to give me some air? No straw needed. Lily! Oh, gelatin. Ruby, one of you will be eliminated. How's it gonna be? The results are... <laughs> Looks like Groovy is back to being a hidden gem. Woo! Please, 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 can I stay in the game, please, please? No. But it was only by 96 votes! <gasps> With Roby gone, we're down to the final 11. Where is everyone? Ah, we're in space! Ah, and some people died! Ah. Ah. Oh. Welcome back then. Uh, X, are you okay? Ah. Well, that wasn't a no, so I guess we can ignore it. No! X, what do you propose we do? Just help me get colder, please! Okay, for today's challenge, you'll have to make the sudden 
colder. The half cots are in space. They have a huge advantage. I'm sorry, did I ask you? What if I said yes? I would ignore you. Yes. Well, I have to commend you for you are anything but a liar. Taco's right. We do have the upper hand. Tell me why we can't just dump this bucket out the window and win the challenge. I mean, we are already here. A dazzling getaway destination, if you ask me. Guys, we can make sun angels now. G Gelatin, don't you know? If you make a sun angel, it'll burn into the sun and project onto Earth. G Gelatin. G Gelatin. Why did you think that information would slow me down? Anyone volunteer to pour the ice? I don't want to pop out there! Chin up, Bubble! The sun's just a star. Leafy, haven't you taken sun lessons before? Everyone knows that- I don't know anything about what you're going to say. As I was saying, everyone knows that- I don't know either! Everyone knows that once ice touches the sun, we will destroy the outermost layer and sink right through! Oh! <gasps> Guys, I think Teardrop said they wanted to pour the ice. Just tell us if you don't want to be the one to pour the ice. Otherwise, you can be the one to do it. Okay, I guess Teardrop is doing it. Let's get out of here. No way, guys! We started this as a team! Let's end together as a team, too! <laughs> Literally nothing happened. They did nothing. Oh! Have not. Did you like your journey up to space? Wait, for Ask me if I have landed on the sun. Uh, have you landed on the sun? Mm, have not. That's a lesson for you. The ice did nothing. My garden is ruined and I'm burning. Probably because we burn up in the sun. Wait, what's happening? This particular spot is actually pretty cool. One point for have cots. Uh, th there are points now? If X says there are points, there are points. Every time someone helps cool him down, their team wins a point. And if you hurt X, let's just say something bad happens. Does that mean we just lose points? Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Let's just reflect the heat back with this mirror. Wow! I'm burning! Blocky! That made the sun even hotter! X is dying! Looks like my mission is done. Minus one point for the have-nots! Wait, guys! I have an idea! The sun only shines during the day! We gotta find a way to make it nighttime! That doesn't make the sun colder, though. Hey, I think we'll get the points if we just make X colder. If we all run really fast in place, the Earth will rotate super fast and we'll dodge the sun. It's worth a shot. Okay, everyone run on the spot in three, two, one! Run as fast as you can! Whoa, that worked? Phew, thanks, have nots. I was in serious pain there. You earned 13 points. 13? Uh, Guys? Not now, Leafy. We're doing nothing. I can't see X anymore. The sun's no longer warming him up. The Earth must have rotated by too many people running quickly in place. We learned that in Earth class. Enough about these classes. Wait, will that help them win the challenge? If X isn't hot from the sun? We need to get the sun back to burning X, so their plan doesn't work. Quick, everyone, run to the leftmost part of the sun and jump! We can reposition the sun in the sky! Joimp! Joimp! It's working! It's working! You know, whilst this nighttime breeze sure is nice, I could use some light again. Just so tending to the garden is easier. Oh, wow! Well, thanks, Half Cots! 21 points for you! 21? We only got 13 last time! Minus 3 points to the Half Knots for being mean! What? Ah, I'm on fire again! Minus 7 points for.
for the half pots. If you don't want to burn, stop standing directly in the sun. Ah, uh, minus two points for the have nots for being meaner. X is on fire up there. Guys, we gotta cool the sun again. Why could an X have just stayed away? They're being very annoying today. Teardrop, you're water. If you sat on the sun, wouldn't you, like, cool it down? Bubbles don't have brains, but even I think this is a ridiculous plan. Don't you feel the breeze, Bubble? I feel like I could just fly away. Whoa, well, why don't you? It's just a feeling, Bubble. For what it's worth, I think this is working. I'm not dripping onto the floor anymore. Is that what this purple goop on the surface is? Yes, it is. Please, Please don't, don't make, make a big deal about this. The sun is two degrees colder again. This is nice. Plus 90 points for the half cuts. Now back to watering my plants. It sure would be nicer if it was like one degree warmer though. They just got 90 points. They have a huge lead on us. Let's try and get the sun one degree warmer. Fiery, wait, where is Fiery? I think he's still on the sun. He never burned up. The sun? But that's 2.6,000 miles away. Oh, Blocky, darling, it is way further than that. Hey, Fiery, are you out there? Yeah. Let me talk to him. Fiery! You need to sink yourself into the sun somehow! Make the sun hotter for X again! On it! Huh, well, how do I get inside the sun? Huh. 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 This is exhausting. Almost too much work for one day. Oh, I know. Hey, have cots. Or should I say, have, uh, crybabies? What? Uh, how could you say that to us? <laughs> you know, we have feelings too, right? I say we smack him right into the sun. Too true, Lollipop! <laughs> Yay! Ah, it's 800 degrees hotter! Minus 800, no, 8,000 points for the half cuts! Oh my goodness, please water me, X! I'm burning on two! Okay, we got the other team to lose points, but now it's boiling hot. Blocky, do something! You got it. Now allow me to make fun of the sun. Hey, sun! You're, uh, pretty lame. Ah! You cooled it down way too much! Minus 7,000 points for the half nuts! Okay, Ford, this is ridiculous. We're gaining and losing points for no reason. Here, buddy. I've been keeping this just for you. Six points for being a fly guy. Yeah, okay. Guys, there are no rules. Whatever. Let's just try doing anything we can think of then. I put racing stripes on every side of this ice cube. No, it's back to normal. Still scorching hot. Minus 7,000 points. We put a bunch of clouds together in the sky. Not enough sunlight anymore. Now you've done it. Minus 8,546 points. If we all spit from the sun, it'll rain down onto Earth, cooling it and giving the plants a drink. That's disgusting. Minus 6,000 points for being gross. I put a block around all of the Earth. And now we're all inside and... How is this better at all? Minus 8,422 points! What if we... Minus! How about... Minus! <sighs> Minus! <laughs> Minus! Rockets! Minus! 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 Oh, wow. We're back. That's because time's up. Yeah! Great job, everyone! Yay! Yay! Minus 90 million points. And the have nots have minus 95 million points. So, what you're saying is we all did awesome? The have nots have minus 100 million points. And I'm still on fire! Ah! Hmm, it's a long shot, but what if we just poured an ice bucket on X? Yay! I feel great! You win! What? That 
that's all it took? Congratulations, Hot Dogs, for saving eggs from burning. Because the have nots didn't do that. Because they have less points. They're up for elimination. Everybody, this is the part where you vote which of these guys should stay. Left square bracket, letter, right square bracket. Post that comment and whoever gets the least votes is out of the game. Don't forget to subscribe because no one knows who it's going to be. I mean, last time it was super close and we were like checking to the very end. You could be the one to cast the deciding vote, which is why I'm awarding you most important voter. Now use your powers for good. Vote for the right person. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check us out on Instagram and our new TikTok where I've been posting every day. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in BFB 21. What a beautiful garden! Yeah, X, you've done a magnificent job. I know. I'm very happy with myself. How long do I have to stay in here? I've been here all night. Mm, quiet, you. You can leave in maybe two and a half to three weeks or so. That should do the job. Hey, Flower, what are you doing up there? Lazy, don't you see? I'm the garden now. Save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oi, 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 gelatin. Um, weird way of saying hi, but, uh... Hey, Bubble, would you like to eat this new dessert I cooked? Sure, what is it? Jello! Looks delicious! Wait, oh my dear collagen! Bleh. I taste something fishy. <clears throat> Hmm? I knew it! Is it the cannibalism? Ulterior motives. Why? Admit it, Bubble. You came here with that jello because you wanted something else from me. It's time for you to spill the truth. Mm oh, oh, Roy! You're correct! See, after Ruby was eliminated last episode, I felt pretty alone on this team. I just want some new friends! Aw, oh, Bubble, you don't have to worry. As long as you're on this team, you'll never be alone. Because you got Teardrop, she still doesn't talk. Gelatin! Oh, he was talking about you! Oh, so you think Teardrop is less worth your friendship then? Uh, TV, give her a dose of what you think about that. No, 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 no! You stop dancing like that. Don't worry, Four. Fiery only meant it sarcastically. Right, Fiery? Right, Fiery? Yes, that's exactly right. Awesome! So, half nots. Well, six of you lost the last challenge. Whoever of you got the fewest votes will leave the show. Oh, my gardener! Ruby, who said I was beautiful and once sang me a really weird song, got eliminated last time despite getting more votes in one episode than the entire first season of BFDI! What's your point, Flower? Well, if you or I want to survive this elimination, we need more votes than the entire first season! And I, I just don't think I can muster that! Well, I know I can! I got my supporters! Loser, I'm your biggest fan! Please accept my fan mail! <laughs> See? Okay, that is pretty impressive! I told you it was true! Loser! Huh? I have a message to tell you! What is it? It's my your popularity! Oh my Gordita! I'm gonna take this back. Yeah, X! Stop your fingers quick! Alright! Bye, loser! Promote my fashion line from the BRB, please! 
What a bozo box. I'm glad I'm the only cube left now. Blocky! With loser gum! We have BFB's final ten. I only count nine of us here. Alright, sorry. The 21st challenge is... Eat a kale of beans because... Um, you like beans? Then buy our can of beans, 25 per- Oh, no, 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 no. Now is not the time to show us an ad. Ma, don't you understand? That is the 21st contest. <gasps> Yellow Face Incorporated has barraged you with ads for their products over the years. With some not-so-legal snooping, I have discovered the location of Yellow Face's warehouse which has over a million products. In this contest, three people from each team, the shoppers, will go to the warehouse and buy gifts for the other two, the receivers. <gasps> X will measure how satisfied the receivers are with their gifts. And whichever team achieves highest satisfaction wins. So first, decide who's gonna shop for gifts and who's gonna receive gifts. All right, have-notters, who wants to be a gift receiver? Raise your hand high. Mm -hmm. Ow! I love consuming products. Pick me, pick me. Okay, we got flour and really nobody else. Plucky, Woody's been raising his hand the whole time. No, he's been doing this wimpy stick, which is way more wimpy. Plucky, now you're just being a jerk. It's okay, Woody. You can be a gift receiver. Wow! Dear Joyp, I know you literally assassinated me a few minutes ago, but do you want to be Shoypers together? Yoy, okay! Bonding time with another water-based specimen! Yeesh, now that's a weird way to say it. We need one more Shoyper, though. Hmm, Leafy and Lolly both act really weird around me, so gelatin, you should shop with us. Aw, I wanted to be a gift receiver. My gift haul for my last birthday, June 29th, is already getting boring. I need some new gizmos. New gizmos, you say? Why not try out my patented fork repellent? Oh yeah? You and Yellowface are selling competing products now? I suppose. This might get interesting. No more talking. Here's how it's gonna work. Yellowface's warehouse is 2,763 miles away. So to get there, the shoppers must ride in this high-speed express train. Get in. Looks like we get to go on an adventure, Taco. Yeah, I guess this could be pretty exciting. Whatever. For you gift receivers, you can just sit on this bench and wait. Um, no thanks. Blocky, I heard you call Woody wimpy earlier. That's not okay. But it was true, and only wimps support other wimps. Why have you been so standoffish lately? Have not. Hmm, it's because Woody got his way, huh? What do you mean? You don't like that. You gotta stop defining your successes on how much others fail. Dude, stop. That may have worked in the past, but it won't work in a team setting like ours. Yo, stop trying to psychoanalyze my mind. It's creepy. Now we're climbing a mountain. And now we're here. Hop out, everyone. Whoa, this place is big. Like... Big, big. I wonder if Yellowface is here to give us a tour of the place. No, Fiery. Yellowface is busy competing for Teapot. Hmm. I guess we're free to go in alone then. Whoa. There's so many products in here. Four wasn't lying when he said millions. Whoa, so this is where my sleep paralysis demon takes me in my dreams. What? So when I ordered a Boyable Transformer from Yellowface all those years ago, this must have been where it came from. All right, Bubble and friends. It was a blast riding that express train with you three, but we're on different teams. So we must depart now. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are a little weird, but uh, goodbye. Shirley, that's not nice. So we need gifts for Woody and Flower. What do you guys think Woody would like? Definitely the super spiky glove to the face. <laughs> Locky, that's an awful idea. 
Only sadists and meat tenderizer enthusiasts would buy that. <coughs> Remember, Blocky, we're a team. So try to pick what's in Woody's best interests, because that's also what's in your best interests. Fine. <gasps> oh, hey! Forks! <coughs> no way, gelatin! Don't go! Tossing those forks. <sighs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Uh... Do you think Lolly would like these? Mm, well, she did start that company that sells fork repellent. And? Now I see her spray that stuff on herself. And? Every day. Oh, so... Yeah, I don't think she likes those things very much. Let's get her a bunch of spoons! So smart! So, uh, guys, how's your day been? Who's excited to receive their presents? Yeah, it's going all right. But I'm not a fan of how cramped this pot feels. Oh, perfect timing to test out my satisfaction detector. Two out of ten. It works! What about Flower, you guys? What's she into? Hmm. She's extremely receptive to bugs. So maybe we could get her this package of 10 million bug larvae? What? No! She has an extremely bad reception of bugs. Not a good one. Well, I remember Flower said she was trying to promote her fashion line. So how about this bag of glitter she could use to spice up her clothes even more? Wow, that was actually a good idea. I'm proud of you, Blocky. Do you think this is enough for Lollipop? Uh, almost! Wait, where'd Teardrop go? There! What you got there, Teardrop? Niceness level detector. Oh, a gift for Leafy. Perfect! Our work here is done! But that's just a random number generator! Ah, whatever. I think we can head back to four with our gifts. Fine. Oh, Woody? Who ah? Remember the time I told you there's a life out there to enjoy, so enjoy it! Wah? Well, since then, I've learned that sometimes you're just not in the right mind state to enjoy the things you used to enjoy. But that's natural and okay. Things will get better eventually, even if they're not perfect right now. <laughs> oh, please. That's so cheesy I would laugh, but I suppose I should be nicer to my fellow BFB mates. So, I'll respect it. Want some fork repellent? Oh my gardener! Is that Fork repellent from the Yellow Face brand? That's my favorite! Ugh, no. This comes from the far superior Lollipop brand, which many studies have shown is much good er. Do you think Woody would like this bucket? I like bucket. No, that won't work. Woody's deathly afraid of the color gray. Wait, really? Yeah, we discovered that before you joined the show. It was a tumultuous time. Hmm, all right. What about this bubble-blowing starter kit? Uh, definitely not. Woody is petrified of bubbles, too. Wow, you guys know a lot more about Woody's history than me, it seems. Oh, how about... This cardboard box! That's perfect! Woody gets scared by lots of things, so if he ever feels that way, he can just hide inside this thing, and it should calm his nerves. Hey, that's pretty thoughtful of you guys. This could really help Woody overcome his fears, huh? Yeah! I'm proud of you guys for putting yourself in Woody's shoes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just get back home. Why does this say, don't purple open inside? Whoa, what is that thing? I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe if we could find a latch to open? Whoa, gelatin, that could be dangerous. Watch out. Don't worry, I'm being careful. Ah! Okay, let's get out of here. Welcome back. Teens, give your gifts to their recipients. And I'll measure how much they like their gifts with my handy-dandy satisfaction detector. Well, not show off. Aw, okay. Hey, Leafster, accept this gift. A bowling ball? I mean, it's a cool sport and all, but I've had mixed experiences with the game. No, Leafy, it's a noiseness detector. Shake it. 
Oh, I see. Hooray, it says I'm nice. I'm evil, girl. Hooray, how kind. Yay, I'm so mad. Wow, cool. That is so wrong. Yay, no, yay, no, yay, no. Yes, this is what I like to see. Eight out of ten. <gasps> Flower, allow us to present our offering to the Floral Queen. This Floral Queen expects only the highest standards of quality. Oh, my dirt glitter! I can add decorations to all my fashioning things! Great gift choice. 10 out of 10. Here. A gift for me? How generous. If it were not for the fact that you were obligated to do this to further your own self-interest in the game. Just open it. All right. Oh, wow. Spoon. I love spoon. Spoon good. Spoon shiny. Very shiny and sparkly and useful. Hold on. Does this spoon say made in Yellow Face's warehouse? Ugh. That company makes horrendous products. Do you hear that, potential customer base? Lollipop Incorporated's products are far more valuable in comparison. Three out of ten. Darn it! I knew that would be a problem. So the have caught satisfaction ratings add up to 11 points. The have-nots have already secured 10 points, but they're waiting on their final gift for Woody. We got this in the bag. Blocky, you chose the gift, so you get to deliver it. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, he yeah, liked that. Yeah. Oh, He's yeah. a fan of Whoa. it. Oh, ah. Woody, it's a cardboard shelter. If you ever see something you're scared of, you could use it to, um, uh, you could burrow inside of it to hide and, uh, calm yourself. So you're, uh, less scared of whatever you were scared of? Zero out of ten. What in the actual flip? Woody, this is supposed to be the perfect gift for you. Oh my god, you cry, baby. You just made us lose the challenge. Ah! Lucky, Woody's not a baby. You shouldn't have treated him like one. Woody, don't worry, I understand the struggle you're going through. Bubble, this discussion doesn't involve you. I'm so confused, though. I thought that gift could help him. <laughs> All right, sure, whatever. But Woody, I was just trying to help you out. Couldn't you at least appreciate that? Maybe you guys need to reassess what value you think Woody contributes to your team. He's not just a dead weight, you know. Yeah, I agree with Lollipop here. Even if she has corporate interests that may cloud her judgment. Yo, customer base, don't listen to the gelatin. The candy ball might have a point. What do you mean? I don't think so. If anything, I think you were too nice on Woody. That's the problem. No, it's not. Meanness is the key to defeating your enemies. No, Flower. Taco and I tried super hard to find the perfect gift for the Woody in our heads. But the Woody in our heads was kind of insulting to the Woody in reality. Are you saying there's a little Woody living in my head right now? How you doing, little buddy? <sighs> Blocky's right. We just gotta try harder next time. So that wraps things up. The have-nots end up with a total 10 satisfaction points, placing them one point behind the half-cots 11 points. So they are up for elimination for the second time in a row. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It featured a little bit of gift giving, even though Christmas is still pretty far away. But anyway, the have-nots lost, which means whichever member gets the fewest votes from you viewers is going to be eliminated. So you viewer, pick who you want to save the most, and then type their letter in square brackets and post it on a comment on this video. There's only five of them left now, so after next episode there will only be four. Anyway, please subscribe to Jack and Jellify, because then you'll be notified when the next episode comes out and you can find out whether your vote made a difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Hey, Fiery, wanna try?
try my new glitter-infused fashion line? All right. Wow, you look so radiant! Isn't it great to be on such a winning streak, Havcots? I feel bad for those loser have-nots. Having to sleep outside in the cold and facing all the wild weather while we sit back in luxury. Good point, Lolly! We should invite the have-nots team over with us! Duh, on second thought, there's not enough room in here for them. I think there's plenty enough room! Okay, let me rephrase what I said. Haha. -ha. They're outside. But wouldn't it be the nice thing to do? To let them in? We don't need to share what we won with them. Maybe you can go join them outside if you wish. Uh, Alright then, bye you guys! Bubble, Leafy's gone. Let's party! Yay! Yay! task for all of you today. While X and I are getting ready for cake and steak, protect the prize and make sure no one takes it. Sure, for that's fine. Well, I wasn't opposed to doing it before, but now that Taco wants us to help, no. I'll make it worth your while. The prize is Donut's Diary, which I stole from Loser before he left. Wait, I have to go help X untwist his knobs. I'll be right back. I don't understand. What's so cool about this diary anyways? It's the most prized treasure on Earth. But if you don't get it, you don't get it. Say, Flower, I was thinking back to the Rotting Flesh Alliance idea you mentioned. Maybe we could give it another shot? No. Nope. Hello, have-nots! Leafy, give Taco a message from me. Dear Taco, I would rather be in an alliance with X than be in an alliance with you. Uh, okay. Uh, Taco, Flower says... Flower, what made you change your mind? Leafy, make yourself useful and talk to Taco so I don't have to. You know what, Flower? I'm not going to. We should be nicer around our friend Taco. Aw, Leafy, you consider me a friend? Of course. It doesn't matter that we're on opposite teams. We're both still awesome. Let's play jump rope together. Hey, hey I was only upset because he turned down my first offer. Uh, I wish I could jump rope, too. Hey, guys, good news. The diary we're meant to be looking after went missing. Wait, that's bad news. Sorry, let me restart. Hey, guys, bad news. Oh, jeez, do you think Ford's gonna be mad? Donut's diary is super cool. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'll just take Donut's diary and... Where is it? Guys, I want it back. Donut's Diary is super cool! I don't know where it is. If I can't have it all to myself, who cares? I care. I want it back. Well, Four, I'll help you get it back! But Leafy, what are you doing here? You're on the other team. Can a girl have a fun time with people on both sides of the competition? But Four's right. Where did the book go? Who could have taken it? Huh, Woody's gone. That's a little suspicious, don't you think? Ah, that's sad. I know I was gonna get a prize no matter what, and I wanted to read a page or two of that juicy diary. Huh, you know what? Since the diary is gone, X and I can just take back our pot and break it into pieces for cake and steak. What? No! It's become part of my identity! Today we're doing things a little different. I would like to start with a speech. What? Is this some kind of apology for why you ate all our cake last time and didn't give us any? So instead you sung some weird song to distract us? Uh, no. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna throw that speech away for no reason. Moving on. We received 56,990 votes. All of you received at least 10,000 votes. A first for BFDI. The contestant with the lowest amount of votes received 10,565 votes. 
On the opposite side of the coin, Woody. You received the most votes with 14,450 votes. Here's your piece of the pot. <laughs> he got more votes than me? Okay, you gained my respect back. Non-Woody members of this team, listen up. Huh? Huh? He received the second mouse with 10,735 votes. Thank you. Are you sure you don't have Donut's Diary back there? And do I have to keep this thing? No. Uh, actually, yeah, you have to keep it always. Oh, well, I guess I will then. Hurry up and read my vote. Not yet, Flower. Because Fiery got the third mouse with 10,674 votes. <laughs> Flower, I really like this broken piece of pottery. I might keep it, too. You better not! Flower, talk out. You are the bottom two. What? The bottom two? With Flower? Enjoy your zero votes, Taco. Four already said we all got 10,000 votes, Flower. How close were the votes, Four? One. One, one what? One hundred? One, one vote. One of you will be leaving the game because you received one less vote than the other. <laughs> one. That's less than four. Oh, wow, less than four. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. Stacking up to four won't give you any bonus points. It was worth a shot. For today's monumental moment, why don't we head up to the BRB to see where one of you will be heading? This garden is really well made, I must say. Thank you! Ah! Introducing you all to the BRB! The Big One of you is about to enter one of these cages here and join the previously eliminated contestants in their spinning journey. It's time to read the votes. Targo, you received 10,560. Five votes. <gasps> Flower survives, receiving 10,566 votes. Flower stays in the game, just barely. Oh, my gardener, that was close. Let's party, Taco. Uh, oh, 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 no, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I have to go in this thing? Oh, my word. Goodbye, Taco. Bye, Blocky. Now it's time for you all to be taken somewhere new. Where are we? Looks like some kind of courtroom. Exactly. One of you is guilty for taking Donut's diary, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Huh? Welcome, jury! To the first ever BFB court case. Card is now in session. <laughs> I would love to believe you're innocent, Woody. But the truth is, any of you have-nots could have committed the crime. Wait, so all we're doing is exposing which contestant committed the crime? What's stopping us from just sitting in silence? Okay, uh, uh how about this? Uh, oh! Tonight's challenge can be the court case! That's it! Of course, you have one hour to find out which member of the Have Not stole Donut's diary! One by one, the Have Nots will come up and tell their story on what they 
they were doing at the scene of the crime, and the half cots have to serve as a jury, discussing who they think is guilty. If you find the guilty half nodder, then the half cots win immunity. But if they accuse the wrong member of being guilty, or they run out of time, then the half cots lose and will be up for elimination. And I'm gonna be the judge! Actually, that's what I'll be doing. Oh. Then I'll stand by and offer moral support! Yay! Okay, half cots, do you guys mind if I ask the questions? Knock yourself out. Teardrop, I found the perfect activity for you! Since you don't speak, how about you use this typewriter and just keep a document of everything that goes down here today? Alrighty, Four! Firstly, we wanted to start with you! Explain the context of the crime! Easy! I went up to the half knots, gave them specific instructions to protect the diary, came back moments later, and I was gone. That's awfully suspicious you came back so quickly. I was counting the votes. Interesting. I'm not on trial here. Sorry, I murdered her. We're gonna need a new question asker. Ooh, my turn. Me, me, me. Hmm. Gelatin, do you want to do it? Fine. I call Blocky to the stand. What? Why me? You pull pranks. Seems like the obvious conclusion. True. Completely fair. Okay, Blocky. Tell me where you were when the diary disappeared. Well, it was earlier today. I was on my way to jet flying class. Hey, is this where I can learn to fly a jet? It sure is. That's why they call me Jet Flying Ruby. Okay, well that whole thing is clearly a lie. Haha, <laughs> you guys got pranked! Pranked, bro! So funny, you hear that Blocky Vlog Squad? For a funny prank, commit perjury by wasting everyone's time with made-up stories so they get no closure to solving the case. You get it! Now zip it! You getting all this, Teardrop? All this juicy info will help us figure out who the true thief is! Wow, you type so fast, I'm proud of you! No further questions. Lolly, you can ask the next ones. Hmm, uh, Woody, I guess? Come on up to the stand. <laughs> it's okay, Woody. I don't think it's you who stole the diary. I just wanted to make sure we heard from everyone. <laughs> oh, wow, no way. We can't understand any of this. No, oh, um, I guess I can translate it. From the beginning, Woody. It was earlier today, and I was on my way to jet flying class. Yep, good one. No way! The first time we can understand what you're saying and you prank them? Nice going, Woody. Seriously, though, where were you? Like usual, I was just going about my day when Evil Scary 4 showed up. Hello, everyone. Protect my diary, or I will eat all of you. I was worried about the book getting stolen. It was a very scary book. But due to my past, I know how important it is for things to stay with the respectful owners. Theft is not okay. And then Leafy, the one who stole everything, came over. I was scared she was going to steal me, maybe? I was freaking out, but I had to be brave and play it cool. I just stood perfectly still and tried not to let her bother me. But then Leafy brought out these terrifying long things. I think they were snakes and tried flinging them around with the taco. I was shocked. Snakes are horrifying. This made my bravery juice run low. I wanted to solve the book theft mystery because I know it hurts to have something you treasure ripped from you. But I'm no Superman, so I needed to relax and return to safety first. I ran to my place of comfort until Thor called us for care. Got steak. Interesting. Thank you very much. Didn't know Leafy was there. Now that's suspicious. Don't be ridiculous! Lolly, sit down! I'll ask the questions! I call Fiery to the stairs! No surprise there. Not this again. These two used to be best friends, correct? I wasn't around yet, but from what I've gathered, Fiery won an island, didn't let Leafy in, so Leafy stole it, and they have barely spoken since, other than Fiery recovering them a couple years back. Fascinating. I just realized we're the only ones left that weren't there when all that happened. You know, with seven experienced veterans against us two newbies, 
We should think about teaming up if we want to survive. I'm cool with that. Time for our newbie alliance handshake. Ooh. La la la. Fa la lu lu la. That was great, but also kind of weird. We both knew what to do exactly in unison. Mm, that was also weird. You both thought that was appropriate to do in a courtroom. Leafy, continue. Thanks, your foreigner. Mwah. Like your foreigner. Like you like your honor, but with four. Just a joke. That joke alone should be enough to get you imprisoned. Fiery, explain where you were during the disappearance of the diary. Gladly. It was actually Leafy that stole the diary, by the way. <gasps> yeah, just wait till you hear this. I was hanging out, just seeing what Flower and Taka were talking about. I don't understand, Flower. What's so cool about this diary anyways? Oh, what's something Flower would say? I don't know. Uh, you suck, and uh, I hate you. So I decided to interrupt and try to help them settle their differences. Differences. Guys, guys, there's no need to argue. The diary can be both awesome and lame. I personally feel indifferent to it. Who really cares? Wait a second, who is this? <laughs> I am Leafy, and I am going to steal this diary. That's me, Leafy the Stealer. And that was it. Leafy stole Dream Island, the diary. Leafy stole the diary. Four, I would like to talk to Fiery in private right now. Ah, uh, that's not necessary. I let you do that if you call me your foreigner again. I actually really like that. Oh, okay, sure, I can do that. Mm, so... Oh, like right now? Your foreigner! Can I talk to Fiery outside in private? You sure can! Thank you for asking so nicely. All right, Leafy, what is it? Yeah, Leafy, what is it? I wanted to talk to Fiery in private. I know. I just wasn't interested in being in the courtroom any longer, so I used you guys as an excuse to leave. Goodbye! Bye, X. Lovely talking to you. As for you, Fiery, what was that about? What? Your story is a lie. I was there. I came to the hand not to check in on what you guys were up to. You never got in between the argument of Flower and Taco. I didn't say any of that nonsense. You lied. Hmm. Wait, don't tell me you stole the diary. Is that why you lied? Hmm. Fiery, why would you do that? Because you stole Dream Island from me. Who? Oh. You stole the diary, didn't you, Flower? Nope. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Nah. -uh. Are you managing to keep up with this teardrop? What? You made a comic? How is this even possible? Teardrop's pirate adventure. Have you been doing this instead of writing about the case? Whoa! Calm down, Teardrop. I'm just having a read. Oh, you've got radioactive powers. That's cool. Oh, you killed me with them. Less cool. You stole Donut's diary because I stole Dream Island? That doesn't make any sense. We battled for two years to win Dream Island, and you just took it away from me. You didn't let me in. So what, Leafy? You couldn't have just waited to have a talk about it? You went straight to the announcer instead? And then we competed again, and I didn't get a prize, and now we're competing for what? Some weird a BFB thing that I might not even win based on the votes? Woody and Blocky got more than me. Blocky did. I have no chance! I'm never gonna win anything because of you! So I took this, so what? I deserve to have something! Everyone was saying they wanted this diary. I wanted it. I deserve to have something everyone wants. It's only fair. I thought you didn't care. What? When we flew away together on the hang glider, you said to me... I realized what I wanted most wasn't Dream Island. It was you, your friendship. I thought I was more important to you than Dream Island. And all of this... Why have you been distancing yourself from me? What's the point? They were going to crush you, Leafy. I still care about you, but I was still upset. You hurt my feelings, Leafy, and you never apologized. When I lost control of the hang glider... Do you know how to steer this thing, Fiery? I, uh, I don't think so. Hold on, Leafy, we're going down! And we crashed, and everyone found us. People! Leafy is over there! I realized they were just chasing you. If I just walked off, it'd be easier to just not do anything and pretend I didn't care about you anymore. And over time, it was easier to just forget and try to move on than try to talk again. No one likes you, and I've just been upset. You stole everything from me and never apologized. Fiery, I don't know what to say. I made a mistake. I was angry and upset. 
I wasn't thinking right. You didn't deserve losing your prize. You won it fair and square. I'm sorry for doing that. But please, Fiery, take it from someone who knows. Don't steal something for petty reasons. Don't make the same mistake I did. Just give this diary back. Uh, but now they're all gonna know I did this. You're gonna have to hand me in to win the challenge. And, uh, I'm gonna be voted out now. Everyone's gonna be mad at me. I'm used to it. Fiery, if you go and return the diary, I'll just say I took it. This whole mess is my fault. It's the least I can do. You'd really do that for me? Of course, Fiery. Getting eliminated is no big fuss. But losing a friendship is. And I'm really sorry about how everything went down between us. Well, hopefully we can have a bright future. Hug? Sure. When I think back on this moment, I'll forget that last part. Just admit you stole the diary, Flower. Okay, yeah. Pick me, why not? Then you'll lose, so go ahead. Hey, I know a threat when I see one, but I don't know how to respond to one. This might take some time. Hello, time for my story. Are you a grape? Who is this? I was on my way to grape flying class. Nice costume, Bucky. You annoying thing. Ha <laughs> ha! You fell for one of my hilarious pranks! This program was brought to you by Blocky's Funny Doings International. The Blocky's Funny Doings International Corporation was found guilty for perjury, lying under oath, and all affiliated parties were sentenced to 2,763 years in prison. Ha! 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 Okay, and there it is! Back to normal! Hello, Fiery! I caught you! Oh no. I'm heading back to four! I gotta get back to that car room as soon as possible! Four! I found out who took the diary! Okay! Did you just scan my brain? I sure did! Hooray! Remember to keep my secrets! Anyway, now I know which of you stole the diary, and you will receive a punishment from me later! As for the challenge, we're coming up on the one hour mark! So I'll have the half cuts issue their official judgment on who stole the diary now. Hello, I'm back. Thor, recover Leafy. Hooray! Hello, everyone. Guys, I have something to confess. I stole the diary. <gasps> it was me. What? Stealing? Again? Wow, Leafy. New low. Uh -huh. We only have two minutes before the true owner of this courtroom discovers we're here. So time's up. Half cons, what's your final answer? Uh, I guess we gotta go with Leafy. Teardrop's documenting of the case didn't really help, so, uh, Leafy, final answer. Alright then. So, half cons, you have found the defendant Leafy guilty of theft of Donut's Juicy Diary. If Leafy was the true thief, your team wins. But if she's not, the have nots win instead. Let's expose the truth! Well, that's wrong. Huh? Why did you lie to us? Did you purposefully want to lose the challenge? My bad. Really weird of you to do, Leafy. Sorry. Well, because we don't have a high enough budget to build a jail, the unknown guilty individual goes free. I would be scared, everyone. There's a criminal among you. Oh my gosh, Gelatin. We gotta activate the elimination prevention plan. What do you mean? The contest is wrapping up. We newbies need more screen time. Go do a funny dance on camera or something. Oh, right. Uh, gelatin and lollipop. Gelatin and lollipop. Gelatin and lollipop! Gelatin and lollipop! Ah, ah, ah. Here's the diary, by the way! It was returned earlier! I know! I scanned your brain. What a fiery flower, Blocky! You do still deserve cake for surviving the elimination! So, here's your equal shares of Donut's diary! And the half cons lose the challenge for failing to make the correct guess as to who stole the diary itself! Hey, thanks for watching BFB22. I'm Carrie, I'm one of the guys who created BFDI, and it looks like this episode it's sad because the have cots lost. So you gotta comment which of the five team members you wanna save and type their letter in square brackets and post it as a comment on this video. Whoever gets the fewest votes is gonna leave. What's this? We're super excited to unveil the Leafy plush. She's super huggable. 
really squishy. She's got super spinny arms. And best of all, you can buy her right now by going to the link in the description for $15.99. And she can be your best friend who can remind you that there's a life out there to enjoy, so enjoy it! I mean, you saw this episode how close the votes can get. If just a single person last episode switched their vote to instead vote for a taco, she'd still be in the game. So you, you singular viewer right now, you've got the power to determine who's gonna stay in the game. Now you can create a collection of your favorite BFDI friendos. Alright, Fiery! I won't tell anyone you stole the diary, but you still need to be punished. You need to clean the entire railway! It's looking kind of gross. What? Like the entire track? It's thousands of miles long! Yep! Good luck with that. Ha! Uh, I guess I better get started then. Hey, Fiery! Do you need some help? Uh, thanks, Levy. That'd be great. We should stop hugging each other. Oh my gordita, you guys. Blocky just released 58 pages of Donut's diary online. Oh yeah, time to read up. Ha, ha, hey friends. I'm finally ready to present my new fashion line. Glitter for your face! The glitter that's infused into the fabric can repel vomit! So horrendous! That's so ugly it's giving me nightmares even though I'm still awake! Please, well, hey! <gasps> did, did you just say it's okay? How dare you! Uh... Hey, Lollipop! We gotta talk! What's wrong? Do you value me as a teammate slash friend? Why, of course I do, Bubble. Your bubbly personality always blows me away. Then how come you didn't even notice when Four killed me? Well, you see... Of all people, it was Leafy who asked Four to bring me back! Ah, yes. You see, I was planning on waiting till your birthday to recover you, like a happy birthday gift. So when's my birthday? I was gonna ask as soon as you became available. Hey Leafy, check out my cool new sweater. But I thought you said it gave you nightmares even while you were awake! Look what happened to Blocky. Hey Fiery, check out my cool new sweater! Hey Havcots, it's time for cake at steak! <laughs> on her way. Agreed. What do you mean? Well, I'm still confused. But anyway, Leafy is the first one safe with a record 28,401 votes! Dial cake! But X, where's four? Um, they're over there! Whoa! Oh my collagen! Why is our precious four in prison? Maybe it's because he's guilty of murdering one of your friends! Oh... Wait, I don't remember any of my friends getting murdered. Let's get back to the ceremony! Teardrop safe next! With 8,790 votes! Yeah! Oh dear collagen! Lollipop! Our newbie alliance is screwed! It's either us or Bubble getting out, but Bubble's untouchable! She got the most votes last time! Oh no... Jordan's wrong! Huh? Bubble's out! Oh no! Oh my god! Huh? 
It's her! She's here. The, the fashion, fashion queen, queen has arrived to right this wrong. She will spread the glittery truth of her sweater empire and rid this planet of haters. Wait! I still don't understand! Plants have blood? Okay, Four, we can hear you! What do you want? Contestants, er, I was sealed last night for the crime of trespassing into a courtroom I didn't own! Ah. Oh, it was for that, not the murder? Murder. I don't recall. Ah, uh, whatever. Teams, you gotta save me. Whichever team brings me out of this jail wins, and the other team is up for elimination. Now. Okay, have notters, follow my lead. <laughs> no thanks. I'd rather not get my hands dirty with moss. Ooh. How would he scared of heights? Don't worry, if you fall, I'll catch you. <laughs> oh, on second inspection, me catching you wouldn't turn out so well, would it? All right, team, we're already falling behind. We gotta brainstorm ideas. Uh, let's try niblet swizzling. Oh, no, no, no. We do not have time for your pirate adventure fantasies. Lolly, don't be so harsh! Teardrop's an aspiring comic book artist! Tools needed for breaking prison bars. 12-inch titanium lock cutter, butane blowtorch, 8-inch garden shears? Why, this is actually quite useful. Uh-oh, a lock cutter? Where are we gonna get our hands on one of those? You seriously don't know the answer to that question. You were there, Jelly Boy. Oh, Yellow Face's warehouse, huh? Yep. Okay, team. Let's ride Four's high speed express train to get there. Ugh! Oh, what happened here? Oh, hey, guys. Sorry for the mess. Last week, Four asked me to clean the railway. But when I got close, the train burst into flames! It's okay, Fiery. Mistakes happen. It's not okay! Now we gotta walk to Yellowface's warehouse! No, we don't. We can ride the 200-year-old steam train. The what? Yeah, Gelatin, go ride that! <laughs> well, let's get in! Fiery, wanna come with? Nah, I gotta stay loyal to my team. But next time for sure. Whoa! Hey guys, down below, watch out for this boxing glove! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Woody, that's wicked cool! Oh no, friends! There's a loop-de-loop -loop coming up! I think we'll be alright. Yeah, Leafster, if you stay in your seat, you should be fine. <laughs> that was so scary, I even heard teardrop scream. <laughs> Me? Why are you pointing at me? Okay, let's put a roof on so that doesn't happen again. I'm gonna use this clip to make sure the roof stays in place. Ah! Ah. Wow! That worked! Leafy, you're a lifesaver! <laughs> Oh man, that's the last of the boxing gloves. Uh, 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 uh oh, uh, I can't climb that. We're stuck. I know, Bucky. Why don't you fall off? What? And what? Land on some trampoline and bounce back even higher? I mean, maybe. Oh, huh? Maybe that would work. Flower, can you put a trampoline right below us? I guess. Here you go, Blocky! 
this sweater's getting itchy. I agree. You know, we are miles away from Flower now. She has no way of knowing if we take off this garbage, huh? You're right. Ah, fresh air. No more itchy bits. Yay, Teardrop! We don't have to wear this hideous uniform! Is Yellowface's warehouse? Yeah, this is it. How pitifully neglected and mold infested. Customers should obviously choose the competitor's brand. Well, I for one am excited to go inside! Um, before you do, I gotta warn you, there's a suspicious purple box that probably has something dangerous in it, and, well, uh, we should really be sure to avoid it when we step inside, okay? Okay! That's what you get for disrespecting my fashion brand! Uh-oh! Oh no! That's the box I was warning you about! Oh, Gelatin! I know you're overwhelmed, but it's okay! In fact, Teardrop's already getting what she needs! Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm about to eat you all! <laughs> oh dear, these purple monsters be crazy. RUN! Purple face is running too fast! We can't escape him! We're gonna be eaten! <laughs> Wait! I remember Flower telling us that these sweaters can repel vomit! How's that going to help? Well, even if we get eaten, Purple Face's stomach acid won't digest us in the mush! Hooray! But first we gotta ball up! <laughs> Looks appetizing! <laughs> Yummy! Whoa! I'm actually protected from the acid! Woohoo! Yeah. But now what? I can't move my limbs. Alright guys, without the trampoline, our best bet is to boing off the highest boxing glove! You got it! But where's Flower? <laughs> 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 Smelling kind of weird in here. Personally, I'm fond of the fragrance. Just the right level of tangy and bitter. What are you doing here? Wait, where are we? <laughs> Guys, we've been in here for seven hours. The have nots are gonna win any moment now. Yeah, that's not good. Any clever ideas, fellow newbie? Oh, that's me. Uh, can we try punching our way out? No can do. These purple monsters have the most impenetrable skin in the universe. Uh, well then in that case I'm drawing a blank. What? Are you mad, Teardorp? If you pierce my sweater pod, the acid will spill in here and I'll die. Uh... Stop that. Ha ha hey! Not me! No! No more! Oh my college, it not my turn. Ah, 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 ah. No! Ah! Now I hear something. Sounds like Gelatin just screamed to death. Gotta recover him. Uh, hey, Four. What's up? Strange weather we're having, huh? Whatever. Hold up. 
This whole time, these bars were just cardboard tubes covered in metal paint? Oh, my gumdrop, I'm saved. Thank you, dear gelatin. You've given me my freedom back. I will be forever grateful for your heroic deed. Yippee! What? Because of gelatin, the Havcots were able to free four from their jail cell. So that means the have-nots are up for elimination, and whichever one of them gets the fewest votes from you viewers is eliminated. Aw oh, man, too bad we lost. Well, Woody, your bouncing on boxing glove strategy was pretty legit. Yeah! Hi, thank you so much for watching, and this is the part where you choose which of the have-nots you want to save. Type their letter between square brackets and post it as a comment to cast your vote. My name's Michael, and I've had so much fun making BFDI, but I noticed only a third of the people watching right now are subscribed, so make sure that before you leave that you've hit the subscribe button. Do you want to learn how to animate your own object show? The source files have been around for years, but we've never made a guide to teach you how to animate, and that changes today. For the first time in over 10 years, we're revealing our secrets in Object Animator's Toolbox. It's a video course on Graphy where I teach you our techniques step by step. The first chapter, which is available today, has almost 40 minutes of densely packed information, and I'll be releasing new chapters regularly. So hit the link in the description and be the first to check it out. And thank you to everyone who ordered the Leafy plush, which is now sold out. We've just heard from our manufacturer that they've arrived and are now being shipped out today. Thank you so much for your patience, and if you're looking to get one in the future, the next batch should be available in the next three months or so. This has been Michael, see you in BFP24. Flower, flower, flower. Why have you been kicking people so much lately? That's awfully rude of you. No, they deserved it. They said they did. Oh, all right. I was a bit harsh. It's just distributing my own fashion line has been a lifelong dream of mine. So it really hurt to see everyone bashing it. Willem, I like your sweaters. Wow, really? Oh, it's so heartwarming to have my first willing customer! Here's a sweater for you! Welcome to the Blocky Podcast, or as we call it, the Blockcast. Bad name. Get out. Next guest, come on in. Fine. I still don't understand why you're desperately trying to make a new show. Blocky's funny doings is on hiatus because of the perjury stuff, so we're just trying to get a new show greenlit. Well, a podcast just sounds lame. Okay, now you get out. Flower, come back. Yo, what's up? Well, that's why you're here. I'm curious as to how you are, Flower. Honestly, Blocky, pretty bad. We're both not exactly vote to save magnets. Either of us could be eliminated today. So I'm kind of stressing out. Uh, hello? Are you even listening? Haha, <laughs> that was a funny prank. Cause I didn't listen to you, right? It's a prank podcast. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, Flower's right, Woody. That idea sucked. We need to think of a new show, but pranks are the only thing I know. Psst! Hey, over here! Uh, what's that coming from? The bush. Have nuts. 
Come on in here, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, so we're just... I guess we're all going into the bush now? Wait for me, guys. Psst. Hey, have nuts. Welcome to Cake Hat Steak. Uh, did you get permission to... Shh. Purple face, did you get permission to do cake at steak? Let's just say, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so you clearly didn't. Bye. Oh, uh, here's a stick. The stick can be blocky for elimination. Anyway, time to make this feel like a normal cake at steak. I thought I'd sing a song. La la la, cake at steak. It's the time where we are all happy. And we have fun! Fun! If we get out, we fly into the sky and spin in circles for months! And it's super high up too! Oh jeez! <laughs> Did I give you permission to interrupt me? No? Okay then, back to my song. In, in fact, I'll start from the beginning. <gasps> la la la, kick ya! Where is everybody? Uh, never mind, let's get on with this super quickly. We got a total of 57,729 votes. Fiery, you're safe with 17,899 votes. Yay! Where's my cake? We keep not getting any lately. Uh, we don't have time for this. Here, uh, have a member of the have cots. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Teardrop. How? Oh, bye, Teardrop. Come out here now. Or else I'm going to be mad. Woody is safe with 17,054 votes. Here's Lollipop. <laughs> uh, where are we right now? Please ask questions later. It's between flower and stick. I just know I'm out. Yeah, you're out. Sorry. No. Oh my gosh. I played the whole season wanting to redeem myself. I got out first last time and... I got another chance, but I still came up short. I wanted to prove everyone wrong again. Round 24 again. I'm so humiliated. No, sorry, Stick. Uh, what? Oh, wait. You're Flower? Mm -hmm. I got you confused with Stick for a second. Oh, no, no, no. Flower, you're safe with 11,547 votes. Stick got 11,229 votes. Another close battle. No way! I did it! Let's party, Stick! Here's Leafy. <laughs> From out of my mouth. Thanks for ruining the moment, purpley head. <laughs> no worries. Oh, wait. That wasn't a genuine thank you, was it? And what did you call me? You're all still in here? What happened? Sorry, Blocky. You're out of the game. What? But I'm like the star of the show. <laughs> It'll be all right, Woody. Just make sure to pull some pranks while I'm gone. Whoa. Wait a second. I was on my way to jet flying class. Good one. How dare you! If anyone else is suited to do pranks around here, it's you, Woody! I may be out of the game, but I think I found the new star of my show! Hey guys, for a break! Go, Woody! Now, go up to examine someone's fashion line! Oh, another interested customer! Are you planning on getting anything, Woody? <laughs> What'll it be? You want all of it? OMG, my biggest sale yet! And destroy it all! Oh, I see. You're putting it down there for later. Is he coming back? He's not coming back. <laughs> Pretty funny. This program was brought to you by Blocky Presents Woody's Funny Doings International. What's going on? Where is everyone? Uh, they're around? I guess. I don't know. Wait, Teardrop, what are you doing? Ah, Teardrop! Ah. There you all are! Hiding from me, are you? Four, Purple Face did the cake and steak, and I got the least votes, so I'm out of the game. Purple Face did what? Just beat me up already. Fine, whatever. 
Make me proud, Woody! Ah! Give me a second. I'm just gonna be spawn purple face for doing cake and steak. Okay, I'm back. I'm angry the elimination got taken away from me. I want my big moment for the episode, so I've decided to make a big announcement. Final seven. Reaching the final seven means a new stage in the battle. You're merging. <laughs> Hooray! Congratulations, final seven. There are no longer teams. You'll be competing for individual immunity. We're close to the end of the game now. Great. Thanks for taking my other big piece of news. Huh? We took your news. Come over here, purple face. Just a second, everyone. I'm despawning purple face again. Okay, I'm back. I'm really bummed out. You all took my big moments, the cake and stick, and the merge announcement. So I've decided to be selfish. You all have to cheer me up. Today's challenge is to throw me a party. You'll each be given a patch of ground and a wall to decorate and put cool things on. You have one hour to put together the best party on Earth. And the creators of the best two parties will win immunity. Plus an additional twist will be announced later. And another twist for the episode. I'll be judging them. No, you will not. Oh, okay. Never mind. That twist is not happening. I'll just say it now. The twist is that the winning player gets to give another player immunity, too! How exciting! Anyway, party time! And now it's time for the intro! Flower, go behind me so you can use your hands and lift it into the air. Uh, okay then. Yay! Yeah. Have you guys seen Teardrop? She's been kind of violent lately. Huh. No, I haven't seen her. I'll let you know if I do. What are you thinking of doing for the party, Lollipop? I don't believe in this disingenuous, forced celebration. I might make a terrible one on purpose. How about you? Hmm, just something with a lot of numbers everywhere, I guess. I'm struggling to think of what four would even enjoy celebrating. Like, if this was a party for me, I'd love some good cheesecake, maybe a game of musical chairs, and there'd have to be forks everywhere for sure. Right, but would four like any of that? Yeah. Probably not. I might just, hmm, go with a different angle. Maybe Four would appreciate me making a party for the right-hand friend, X. What are you gonna do, Teardrop? Oh, Gelatin, just letting you know, Teardrop is right there. Right here. Next to us. She's right there. Been there the whole time, I think. Yep, thanks, Lollipop. Teardrop, to be honest, like, I know we've had a back-and-forth banter, but, like, you drew me getting killed in your pirate comic. And then you actually killed me inside Purple Face, and then you just whipped me into that bush? I'm just feeling a bit uncomfortable right now. Can you just leave me alone for a bit? Thanks, TD. Aw, I feel kind of bad for her. Hey, Fiery! Not now, Leafy, we're talking. Uh, alright then. Hey, Leafy, if you want to hang out with me, I'm planning to go to my Four Petal Sake shop to get some party supplies. Uh, sure, Flower, let's do it. Ooh, where are you guys off to? Honestly, Fiery, like, why didn't you stand up for me back there? I know I apologized for all that happened, but you never apologized to me for ignoring me for years. And you're still contributing to that, you know? Oh, Leafy, I didn't even think about it. I know. I'll talk to you later! Ha! Uh. Alright, Woody. You're filling in for the role of Blocky now. I'm trying to make a disaster of a party for four, so I need a suggestion on the worst music I could possibly play for the event. Ooh, hello. Great idea, Woody. Purple Face, I need your beautiful singing voice for a party I'm throwing. Sounds great! 
How far away is your store anyway, Flower? Well, it's not exactly the most successful store. They say location matters, and unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to get to. But here we are at the quicksand of death. Uh, what are we doing here? Going inside. Come on in, Leafy. Let's go. Wait, what? Someone help me! X, I need to know, what are your favorite things, like hobbies and stuff? Hmm, I like baskets! Cool, anything else? Uh, guess not. Hey, Flower, what's underneath this pit? Oh, the 1,000 foot drop of doom. The, the, the what? <laughs> Do you like this banner I made for the party, Woody? It says, Happy Halloween. It's the wrong time of year for it. Might even wear a costume, too. Say, what are you making? <laughs> Whatever that means, I'm sure it's great. Good luck, Woody. <laughs> Finally, we're at the bottom. No, what? We just need to cross the 50-mile tightrope and then we'll be at the shop. Grrr! Hey, Fiery. I'm all done with my x theme party. How's yours going? Hmm. I think I'm gonna end up losing a challenge. And, uh, I think that's okay. I, uh, really want to win immunity. But I wanted to do something nice for Leafy. I'm just making her a gift instead. Really? For Leafy? Did something happen between you two back in the courthouse? Because we never did find out who stole the diary. Nothing major. I just feel like Leafy's been trying really hard and her efforts should be rewarded. Huh. I mean, if you can forgive her, I guess I've got nothing to be mad at. Need a hand making the gift? Thank you. Yes, you can do a test run of it. Finally, we're here. I kind of expected a mega store, not a stand. I know, Leafy. It's not the most expensive store, and it might be in a bad location, but it's something I'm passionate about, and I care about it a lot, so it's worth it to me. Hey, boss. What do you need today? Not too much. Just some supplies for a party. Oh, I have some party supplies. Here's some. No, oh, thank you. And some more. Yeah, thanks. That should be good. Ah, oh, you want more? Here's some more. This is weird. Oh, you want more? Here's some supplies. More, more, more. We have enough. This is good. But we don't want the party to be good. We want it to be great. Here's some more. Oh my gosh, Leafy. Let's get out of here. Run! Wait, let me come with you. Leafy Flower and Rusty Coin. I'm the third of our funny trio. We'll go down in history. Leave us alone. So, Purple Face, how's the song coming along? <sighs> I'm trying to rehearse my song in peace. Seriously, how annoying. Wow, you're very rude. Perfect for this party then. Time is nearly up. We're back. Quick, Leafy, don't make your party! There isn't any time! I'll just help you with yours! Okay, Leafy, if I win the challenge, I'll give you the extra immunity! Thanks, Flower! Just toss the boxes at the wall! The decorations will automatically attach! It'll be good enough! Uh. Whoa! You weren't lying, Flower! That looks great! Alright, everyone! Time to sing the parties you all made for me! We'll start with you, Gelatin! Let's see your party for me! You got it! For my party, I decided to make one for X! But the parties are meant to be for me! I thought I'd think outside the box a little, so I made a very basket-heavy party to appeal to X! You drink out of mini baskets, the seats are baskets I didn't really have much to work with... Ah! How lovely of you to make a party for X! And you use things that X loves too! What a sweet party! Zero out of ten! Because the party was meant to be for me! Alright, Fiery! How about your party? For my party, I decided to make a Ferris wheel with a fun special part! <sighs> it has a lava fall, but once half a rotation has gone around, it triggers the Ferris wheel to drop water down instead! And then it switches back and forth every time half a rotation has gone around. That way, Leafy and I can both ride on the Ferris wheel together. I hope you like it, Leafy. Wow, Fiery, what a wonderful gift. 
I'm sorry I pushed you away for so long. Just because I was mad didn't give me permission to be mean and cold to you. Thank you for saying that, Fiery. And this Ferris wheel truly means a lot to me. Wanna go for a ride? Sure! Wait, but that has nothing to do with me. I know, I didn't focus on winning the immunity. Grr. Two out of ten. The Ferris wheel is cool, I guess. How about you, Leafy? Show me your party before you go off and ride this thing. Oh, I didn't make one. Sorry, your foreigner. I just helped Flower make her party. Bye! Leafy gets a zero out of ten. So that's three parties out of seven so far. And none of them were made with me in mind. This has not improved my mood at all. Woody, let's see your party. Oh, oh, huh? Oh, you want me to translate for you? Okay, I can do that. Hey guys, Woody here. For a prank, when it's someone's party, throw a party for someone else entirely. In this case, I made a party for Purple Face. There's posters of Purple Face everywhere. Sweater candies which appeal to him. And best of all, additional sweaters he can wear when he stretches his last one beyond repair. Oh my gosh! So you did retrieve them from the bottom of the cliff. Hooray! This party has nothing for likes at all. Pretty funny. This program was brought to you by Blocky Presents Woody's Funny Doings International. So I hated that. But I guess I do find Purple Face kind of funny, so... One out of ten for you. Flowers, show me your party. Okay. I actually did one for you, for. It's a bit basic, I guess. But with my good friend Leafy, I was able to decorate the wall with some beautiful party supplies. There's tons of glitter. And best of all, all the supplies repel vomit. In case Purple Face comes as a guest. Why does so much of your merchandise repel vomit? Eh, uh, whatever. I appreciate that it's a party for me. So, you get a 5 out of 10. Pretty okay. Tear job, you're up. And this clearly isn't for me. Again. <gasps> I'm sorry, gelatin. Ooh, there's cheesecake, my favorite. No way. Musical chairs, so rad. Forks, oh my goodness. And you made a comic for me too? Gelatin spacewalk? Whoa, this is so cool. Thank you so much, Teardrop. I know I was mad earlier. I like messing around with you. Let's just keep it at being silly and not violence. All right, buddy? Hooray! Thank you so much, Teardrop. And you guys stop using your parties as a way to fix your own personal conflicts and just base your lives around me, please. One out of ten for Teardrop. Right now, Flower is guaranteed immunity due to having the top result with one contestant left. Fiery could come second with his Ferris wheel, unless Lollipop is able to top it. Huh, fat chance. Take a look at this for... Happy Halloween, buddy. Oh, wait, I've got a costume prepared. I am the Scribble Girl. What do you think? I've also got a... Ugh, I don't even want to admit to buying this stuff. A bunch of yellow face warehouse spoons. I use them to decorate the party. And finally, I had Purple Face prepare you a song. Take it away, Purpley. For, for, I love you so much. You are such a cool little number. And your face is kind of weird too. So far, did I come in last or what? Yeah, you came last. In the losing competition, because you win! <laughs> 10 out of 10. How did you know my favorite holiday was Halloween? And that song was so good. I do have a weird face. Thank you so much, Lollipop. You saved the day, and I feel great. I feel like I could fly for hours. Hooray! What? So, Lollipop and Flower, you have won immunity. And now for the twist. Lollipop, since you won, you can choose one other player to have immunity. I'm gonna have to keep my newbie alliance in the game. Gelatin, you get immunity, buddy. Thanks so much, Lollipop. Which means that Fiery, Leafy, Teardrop, and Woody are up for elimination. This is the part where you, the viewer, cast your vote. Who deserves to stay? Type their letter in square brackets and post as a comment. 
And if you want to see the result when the next episode comes out, do not forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Oh, you're already subscribed? Thank you so much. Sorry, that was my AI clone speaking, because I've been working really hard on my new project. My name's Michael, and for over 10 years I've been animating BFDI. I want to help you get better at Adobe Animate, so I started making a video course. It's called Object Animators Toolbox, where I teach you cutting-edge techniques explained more thoroughly than anywhere else online. So much of what I've learned has been from books I've bought over the years. If you want to invest in your skills as an animator, I promise you Object Animators Toolbox is worth it. Also, did you notice? Gelatin has a new voice actor, Ian. It's been amazing working with Graham Taylor for over eight years. He's one of the best voice actors we've ever worked with. He's moving on to the next stage of his career, and I'm excited to see what he does next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in BFB 25. Guys, a new episode of Woody's Funny Doings came out. Wow, Leafy, we've been on this Ferris wheel for like eight hours now. Wow, really? To be honest, I feel like I can stay up here forever. Me too. Take this out. This program was brought to you by Blocky Presents Woody's Funny Doings International. I knew he'd be great at it. That was pretty legit. Oh my tree, it's Flower's announcer crusher! Oh no! I sure hope Flower turned off the voice enable pulverize command! Pulverize command detected. And that's why my prank could have been so perfect, Woody. It made everyone laugh and no one got hurt. Wouldn't you agree that's what all pranks should do, Woody? <laughs> Don't gulp, Woody. It makes you look suspicious. It's cake on steak time! Oh, it's break at flake! Did I just get slapped by this wiry looking two pixel wide snaps like a twig noodle arm? Alright, you final seven contestants, you know how it goes. Whichever one of you got the fewest votes from viewers will be exterminated. Lollipop, Flower, and Gelatin had immunity, so they're safe. That's cool, but where's our prize for being safe? And why are you standing way up high on Fiery's Ferris wheel stand? It's cause Fiery's stand has this handy dispenser that I can use to dispense your prize, which is either water or lava. <laughs> So refreshing! Ew! I'm ultra soggy now! Hmm, the water didn't wash off the scribble on my face. Next, leave me in safe with 13,243 votes. Hey, four, Leafy died. Oh, really? Yeah, right before Woody gulped. Seems kinda sus to me. Okay, I'll bring Leafy back. And Teardrop is also safe with 13,070 votes. Oh my collagen! Congrats, Teardrop! So it's down to Fiery and Woody. Who's gonna leave the show? Mm -hmm. Fiery <laughs> is eliminated at 12,705 votes. <sighs> Fiery's dead. All right! Oh man, Fireball, I'm so sad I caused you to not get the prize you desperately wanted twice now. Both in episode 25, too. Shush! Oh, psh. Don't worry about that. 
I don't care about no island or no BFB screen. I'm just glad we're on good terms again. Really? Yeah. Uh, for sure? Definitely. Awesome. Wait. What? Uh, Gelatin, you're not supposed to be in this conversation. Oh. No, he can be in it. Yay. Oh, no. What? My arm is getting tired. Oof. Bye, Fiery. Bye, Leafy. I wonder where the new stairs lead. Now's your eyes, Flower. They lead into the archaic temple. All right. How did you not notice that, Flower? Anyway, a quiet whisper has spoken in my ear that... Wait, what did you say? There are six totems inside the archaic temple. Two are harmless, but four are cursed. Yeah, that. That's what a quiet whisper told me. Also, did you just say that four is cursed? Well, I sure ain't saying you blast. Time to despawn you! Anyway, each of you must go into the temple, find one totem, and return it to me. If it's cursed, you'll be up for elimination. Go! Oh my gumdrop! It's so spacious in here! And... moist. Moist? Meaning this temple might be soaked with vomit? What? Ew! No! How could you- Looks like my vomit-repelling sweater will come in handy! Anyone else want to buy one? No! no. Ah, fine. Ah! I'll be your tour guide for this temple. Oh! How can you claim to be an expert of this temple if you've been locked in a box for eight years? <laughs> Our purple allegiance is over! Didn't know we even had one. Okay, follow me into the side room. Welcome to this room. It's called the, uh, rectangly brownish room. Yeah, I'm not putting up with that drivel for another minute. I'll take my alliance sidekick thingy with me too. Ooh, so we're going rogue? I suppose. This sounds awesome! But first, let me add Teardrop to our squad. Cause she's a homie. I do appreciate those who walk the walk instead of talking the talk. So yes, this temple was built in the year 2763. <laughs> what? I just lost half of my clientele! <laughs> what? Oh my gardener, that's a totem! Huh? Come here! Hey! Stop tumbling away from me! It's so sad! <laughs> Shall we continue the tour? Uh, sure! Alright! Okay, right this way then! Feast your eyes! Now we are entering room number three! Which experts have named the... Uh, the slightly smaller, rectangly brownish room? Oh! And it looks like lots of vines grow here! Oh! Let's see! Oh! <laughs> Snatch! The totem's mine now! Huh? Here's my totally not cursed totem for! That totem is obviously filled with vomit! Which means, gelatin, not only are you cursed with evil spirits for a thousand years, you are also a fool with the Okay, that's the end of my tour. Thanks for listening. Uh, but, purpley head! What? You only showed us three rooms! So? That's only 1% of the temple, according to my map. <laughs> Why don't you just take these totems as a thank you for coming and get out of the temple? OMD, it's my friendos, Leafy and Woody. Nice totems. Wait, did those come from Purple Face? Wins! Purple Face is the most cursed creature on the planet. You two are definitely up for elimination. So, Water Droplet, Gelatin tells me you're quite an awesome, go-with-the-flow kind of person. We should use Osmosis to absorb you into our alliance. Oh great, a dumb old shrine. These things bore me. Oh, 
I think that symbol means one of these totems is blessed and the other one is cursed? Whoa, Teardrop, are you trying to figure out which one is blessed? Maybe we shouldn't. Even if you do figure out which is which, then what? How do we decide which one of us deserves the good totem and who deserves the bad one? You are doing your analysis work quite swimmingly, and that's great, But If we know which is which, deciding who gets the curse totem could tear our new alliance apart, you know? Yes, yes, let's pick the totems randomly. Fate, only you can determine our destinies. Ooh, er, uh, 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 hmm. Ooh. Got mine. Ah, oof, oh, whoa. Wow, what a graceful entry. Anyway, Teardrop, you got the blessed totem. And Lollipop, you got the cursed totem. Whatever, it was what fate decreed. What? Huh? Huh? Oh, what's that? Huh? Huh? Woody wants to know who's still left in the temple. It's that monstrosity who wears those ugly sweaters. <laughs> Where's Flower? What's taking her so long? I want to go home already! Here is my totem! For it took me forever to find it! Flower, please, this is a rock! So? This rock is identical to the hundreds of rocks surrounding the entrance! Uh, so? How did that take you 73 days to find? Uh, well, this rock is technically not cursed. So you're safe! Oh, really? Hooray! Flower may be safe, but these guys are at your mercy. You watching this video, vote who should stay by typing their letter between square brackets and posting that as a comment. My name is Michael, and thank you so much for subscribing. I've got some awesome news. Right now, as I'm filming this, I've just finished the last chapter of Object Animator's Toolbox. If you've wanted to make your own object show and level up in Adobe Anime, check out the link in the description. It's over 90 minutes of densely edited material, and soon there will be even more. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, and I'll I'll see you in BFB 26. Hello? Why are there no more customers for my temple tour? Oh, I guess I need to start advertising more. Ew, gross. Another ad for a temple tour? Blocked. For your next prank, Woody, how about... Uh, no. I didn't even describe one yet, Woody. But if you're not enjoying doing pranks anymore, you don't have to keep doing them. If pranks aren't completely your thing, we can find something else for you to do. Uh, yeah. And now it's time to talk about me. It began ironically, but I've actually started to love this scribble of mine. And I'm thinking of adding some more. Speaking of scribbles, I gave myself one too. What do you think? Looks bad. <laughs> Time for cake at steak. We got 46,108 votes. We're going back to basics with some regular cake today. Carrot cake. For winning immunity, flower and teardrop get some cake. Carrot cake. First safe is Scribble Girl with 12,860 votes. Here's your cake. Ah, this girl is cursed from the Temple of Doom. I'm not going near her. I'm out of here. That was odd. Let's see if it happens again with the second highest vote getter, Leafy, who received 12,747 votes. Ah! Stop throwing us at cursed individuals! Come back, Cake Buddy! You're telling us that temple actually cursed us? Get over yourself. Being cursed probably has some advantages. We're down to the bottom two. Gelatin and Woody. Gelatin! Ah! Is safe with 10,658 votes. Woody got 9,843 votes, so goodbye, Woody. Hey, what? 
sorry to hear that, Woodster. Perhaps you can figure out your next non-prank endeavor in the BRB. Until we meet again, farewell. Wait! <laughs> huh? I just, uh, remembered Leafy did this, and I wanted to have an emotional moment, too. Woody, as the final half-nutters in the competition, we've been on a crazy rap- huh? Why? That was rude. I was just wanting to- True! You were just wanting to. That's your whole story, right, Flower? Anyway, moving on. For I want my cake. I mean, I doubt this'll work. But okay, here. So, Gelatin, are you surprised that happened? Sigh, no. I, I mean, yes? Stop looking angrily at me, please. Stop it! <laughs> Did I see you crack a smile? I guess not. We're down to the final five, folks! Don't you mean final six? I absolutely didn't mean that, no. What are you talking about? There's six of us left. Excuse me, what and who on earth are you? Uh, the audience favorite? Profiling? I've been one of the gang forever, right guys? Uh, yeah, profiling, uh... Mm, do any of you actually remember Profiley at all? Nope, not, not at all. all. What? Wait, but think back on all our funny adventures! Hey, announcer! Imagine this during a contest! Get it? It's like a tiebreaker? Wow, that's a good pun. Thank you! Please don't steal it. I'd hate for that to become a phrase you were known for. Whatever. So the winner is either Fiery or Leafy. Um, what about me, announcery for Founcery? Oh, whoops. Profiley, you nearly won, but fell just short of the win. Really? No. Haha. -ha. Seriously though, uh, this is unpleasant. I'm sorry, but you received a total of zero votes. Oh, well that's great! No, it's not. Oh, let me correct what I said. Oh, well that's terrible! That's better. I can roll like a wheel, you're covered in ooze, and Donut's got a hole! And I am a ray of sunshine, and you all love hanging out with me! Uh, so what's our name? We lose a whole bunch! Uh, can you also find a way to fit in the rainbow thing I said? Coiny! What? This isn't funny! Well, if you don't like it, you can go eliminate yourself. This might not be an appropriate time to do this, but I would like to revisit the idea of the rainbow thing. Hello? Don't worry, guys. I can burn the bugs. Uh, hey, what's going on? The bugs are fireproof. Oh, yeah? Well, how will they respond to my flamethrower? I'm so cool with my flamethrower. <laughs> Very cool, Profiley. But they're immune to fire, so it will probably do nothing. We just lost over half our contestants for... Is the show gonna be okay? Taco, what are you talking about? We just advanced to the final 14 of BFB! Uh, move the camera over! Hey, I'm here! You know, I can't wait to compete alongside my friends. We're gonna make... See you in BFB 17. What? What? Oh, what's that? What? Woody wants to know who's still left in the temple! It's that monstrosity who wears those ugly sweaters! Guys, they're never gonna find the other blessed totem! Because I already found it? All that's left in there are rocks. Hmm, so you're the reason we were waiting the 73 days for Flower to find a rock. Actually, that was still largely my fault! Wait, I didn't sound great there. If you've been here the whole time, why don't I remember you at all? I am kind of forgettable. But for my old chum, I'm even in the intro. Here, take a look! Well, I guess Profiley is a contestant after all. So, we're down to the final six! What?! They joined at the final six?! That's preposterous! Uh, Flower, in the first season, didn't you rejoin at final six? Never mind, I actually have a deep admiration for this feat. Well, anyway, today yeah, I... So I... We were talking at the same time! <laughs> 
Okay, uh, okay, so today's challenge La la la, sorry. <laughs> I like singing like that. <laughs> it's fun, wanna try? No. I'll be right back. Next, we have a problem. This profiling contestant is getting on my nerves immediately. Just throw a really hard challenge, Four. They'll probably lose since they've never won a challenge before, right? Then they'll just be voted out. I knew I recovered you for a good reason. You're a true blue friend. I'm not blue. <laughs> Are you gonna despawn me again? Contestants, for today's challenge, you must climb to the peak of the tallest mountain in the valley. Go! Done! Wow! Uh, you misheard me. The challenge is actually to dig the deepest hole ever. Go. Done that too. Never mind. It's actually to destroy these bugs. Already gone, my friend. Did it all myself. Never mind. It's to look the most like a leaf. I win. This isn't working at all. Sorry, Pro Viley. I'm sure you're a legitimate contestant. But it's not gonna fly with me today. And you're annoying. So I'm sorry. You're coming sixth place overall. Thanks for playing. That's not fair, Four. You have to respect the votes. Profiley didn't get the least votes. They got no votes ever, actually. Well, I feel bad for ignoring them for so long. Gang, I say we throw Profiley their very own party to make it up to them. You're... You throw them a party? I tried to get seven of you to throw me one, and only two of you no. did! And yes, Lollipop's party was the best party of all time. Wasn't on purpose. You're not helping! None of you have any respect for me! And I'm fed up with all of it! Forty of my contestants left for someone they knew for like five minutes! And the ones on stage steal Donut's diary! You don't even help me out of jail until I make it a challenge! And now... Uh, you're gonna throw a party for Profiley immediately? You never do these things for me. So we're going to make this simple. Profiley is out of the game. But this isn't how they're leaving. Today's challenge is for you all to eliminate your friend instead. Take Profiley over to the BRB, which is over there, and take them all the way to the top. The contestant that gets to the top of X's aloe vera garden next to the BRB with Profiley will win immunity. I can handle getting them into a cage from there. And what if we refuse to get rid of our profiley buddy? Then I'll put you all up for elimination. Go! Well, you heard him. Profiley, it's time to go! <laughs> the teardrop, come back! We need to think of a way to get insanely high into the air. If only we still had that cardboard ship Blocky made. <sighs> I think it's still on the sun. According to my sun facts book, Cardboard boxes remain permanently on sun-like surfaces, so it'll likely still be there. If we had that ship, we could just scoop up Profiley and chuck them up to the garden with ease. OMG! Good idea, Scribbly! Four, kick us into the sun! We need to- No explanation necessary. Whatever, I guess. Well, see you guys later then. Teardrop, give me Profiley! Leafy, my friends call me Profiley. Call me Profile Picture. Okay! Wait, excuse me? I meant every word. Thanks for taking them this far, TD. Now I'll take them up to the garden and win immunity. <laughs> I'm the only one left who hasn't received immunity. I deserve it this round. Don't be selfish, Teardrop. You had immunity last time. Everyone deserves it sometime. And this time it should be me. I guess we're off then. Bye, Leafy! Grrr! Uh, bye, profile picture! Wow! I never made it here before! Looks pretty! Oh, yeah, I mean, once you've been to the sun once, you kinda get it, so I'm over it. But, good news! The cardboard ship is still here, intact. Carry cake! What's your plan, Leaf, sir? Teardrop's just running up the side of the BRB with Profiley, so we need to snatch it away from them. Say, 
Do you still carry around those Sun Facts books? Oh, as a matter of fact, I do. I actually wrote them myself. Don't tell anyone, but it's full of lies. Weird. Anyway, any chance you have an Earth Facts book too? You know it. All yours, buddy. Great. Okay, uh, where are the maps? Uh, where are here? A map of the Pillory Ruins. Can it be about here? Loose canoe, we count too! Ooh, yes! It worked! Um, I thought you said you were a good driver. Oh, Scribble Pop! No, no! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! There's a very simple explanation! I lied to you! Is that supposed to make me feel better? Yeah, it's not supposed to make you feel anything. But hey, what's the worst that could happen? We crash? Ah, uh, don't be ridiculous. Okay, never mind. That might have gone badly. Oh, really? What on earth is going on up there? Weird. You should just give me immunity so I won't cause any more damage. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, I know. Hey, X, we have a little bond after I made that party for you, right? Well, lots of people throw parties for me, actually. I have one in an hour, too. Oh. Well, do you want to do me a favor and snap Profiley up to the BRB for me? If you can show me proof Profiley received the least votes, then yes, I can do it. Easily. Ah, hello, my favorite little teardrop. Care to hand Profiley to me? Very fair, my friend. After all, you brought them all the way here. You deserve to continue on. Do I have a say in any of this? Well, the rest of you guys are half caught, so I guess it's me against the world. We're going down, TD! <laughs> well, that was short-lived. Good afternoon, Lollipop. Hello, Leafy. Finally, I'm free from Teardrop's clutches! Here's a voting chart showing Profiley had zero votes in total, X. Well, that certainly will not do! Thank you for showing me, Gelatin! Uh-oh, I'm heading off again! Oh, no you don't! Huh? Immunity number three, here we go! Bang, bang, get off! Oh, shucks, they're all too high! Good luck, Teardrop! I can't believe this is where it ends! A perfect zero-vote game! And for what? An instant elimination? But it doesn't have to be in vain! I'm one step closer to winning the season if you just let me hold on a little longer! Oh, hello, Lollipop and Leafy! Crazy seeing you two up here! This is ours, Flower. This immunity is for the Newbie Alliance. Hope you understand. No! Teardrop! Lollipop, get off! Somebody help! Somebody help! Huh, I'm hearing someone in distress. <laughs> and you know what? It's someone who's not cursed. Let's go help them. Get off me, TD! This is my victory! Yeah, get off our non-cursed friend, Flower! What's going on here? We've come to save you! Quick, Flower, grab onto me! You're safe with me now. Now we have to remove these others. Wait! I need to hold on to profiling for the immunity! If you weird cakes at stake are the reason I lose, I'm gonna be furious! <coughs> now she blames us? I have half a mind to drop her! Actually, we don't have minds at all. Oh, okay. Bye, Flower! No! Well, looks like they're all gone then. And now that you're freed up, I just have to get you to this platform! I let Edge's magic take Fiery from me! I'm not letting it take an immunity from me, too! Uh, ha! Yes! Gotcha! And Leafy wins the immunity for getting herself and Profiley onto the aloe vera garden next to the BR Ray. Hey! But I'm the one that got Profiley flying up there! I got X to send them up! Is this your argument for why you should win? That you cheated? Uh, no. With Profiley gone, we're now back to the final five. But now we're heading to the final four. Since Leafy is safe, Gelatin, Flower, Teardrop, and Lollipop are now up for elimination. This is the part where you post a comment with the letter and square brackets of the person you think should stay in the... <clears throat> stay in the game. You should also hit the Ebberks bus button. 
Oh wait, that's upside down. You should hit the subscribe button if you want to see BFB 27 when it comes out. My name's Michael and I've been making BFDI for over 10 years. Maybe you want to learn how to animate your own object show. Object Animator's Toolbox is over two hours of me teaching you how to do that with all of the pauses and ums edited out. I worked really hard to make it and now you can watch it through a Graphy subscription. They just gave me a special link that'll bring it down to just $6 a month. So check that out in the description. Yo, my good friend Profiley, who I've known for many years and months, is calling me right now. Michael out. Peace. Hey, Four! I think you need more contestants to join the show. I'm here to play. Me too. Look at me. I think I'd make a great addition. I'm ready to star in some great clips. Get it? Clip? Eh? Anyway, I'm ready to star in some great clips for this season. You people are all too weird. Please leave. We're not going anywhere. I think there's too many fans on the pillory ruins now for... Think about Purply Head too. Other people keep interrupting the game nowadays. True. Okay then, BFB gang, here's a boss. Everyone get on. We're leaving. Everybody say your final goodbyes to the pillory ruins. Goodbye, skies of pink. Wait! No, no, no! Let me come with you! No. And we're off. Yeah! yeah. And I'm coming too. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, I'm not tagging along because I'm evil. I just want to come with everyone to hang out with them. <sighs> but there's no happy tagging along la 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 laugh. I could try making one, I guess. Alright, in a, a three, a two, a one. <gasps> no, 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 no. That just sounds evil again. Three. Driving is so fun. We've been driving for five weeks now without a single thing smashing into the window. <laughs> Oh, please, let me in the bus. It's sweltering out here. Not on your life, Purpley. I'm sick of you interfering with hosting duties and challenges when you're not meant to. Oh, well then, I have an easy solution. Let's make it so I'm meant to. I could be a brand new co-host. No, I already have X, the best co-host money can buy. Am I meant to be getting paid? Quiet, you. But for... I sure do get tired of co-hosting all by myself. What? You don't do anything. One time you actually left the courtroom mid-challenge because you were bored. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I am great, you're right. And greatness needs a co-host. Purpley, you can be my co-host. Yay! Stop, I've inherited BFDI. It's my show. I decide what's going on here. Sigh, I get it. I'm too awesome. I'd be too good at being a co-host, and you're scared I'd be better than you. Is this reverse psychology? Because it's working. Okay, purple face, you can be a co-co-host. But make yourself useful and get all those pesky bugs off the roof. You got it. This might take a while. Time for cake and steak, my little contestants of joy! We got 42,595 votes! Whichever one of you got the least votes is eliminated from BFB! Leafy won immunity, so she's safe! Woohoo! Co co host, I need a prize pronto! Here's some little bug friends for you! <sighs> I could have gotten a cake or something. I'm a host too, remember? My turn to talk now. Here's your bug, little Leafy Lulu. Thanks. Uh, I don't want this. Teardrop got 11222 votes, and Flower got 11112 votes. Here are your bugs. Hey, my bug looks like four. All googly and woogly. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Lollipop, what does it mean when we're the bottom two? Little jelly friend, it means one of us is leaving. Wait, oh no! What? Wait, oh no! This can't be the end of our alliance! I'm afraid it is, buddy. I have a syringe. I have a scribble. Stop bragging. Whoever's eliminated should use a syringe to transfer the coloring to the other person. Ah! Oh. Great idea! That means, no matter what, the spirit of our alliance lives on! 
I just thought it would look cool, but okay. And the last person safe is... Is it me, Flower? No, you are already safe. I know, I just liked hearing it. Gelatin is safe with 10,577 votes. Lollipop leaves, only receiving 9,684 votes. Well, I guess it's time for the Scribble Girl to be scribbled out. Keep the Alliance proud, old buddy. Regardless of what place we came in, getting to the final five with you was an honor. Great work too, Teardrop. I noticed when I hugged you guys, your smiles turned to frowns. How weird, ha <laughs> ha. Well, there's no point delaying the inevitable. Number boy, hosty guy, how are you gonna send me to the BRB? Hmm, where do you think the BRB is? No idea. We've been driving for weeks, probably hundreds of miles away from here. Point at it, Scribble Girl. I don't know. That way? Okay, bye, Lollipop. Purple face! Blow at Lollipop so she moves horizontally. You got it, Fory Forster! <sighs> um, I guess I'm off then? Um, if I don't end up at the BRB, please recover me. Bye. <sighs> you know, I really began to like Naily at the end there. That was Lollipop. Uh, okay, I guess I wasn't paying as much attention as I thought. I don't blame you. I can barely focus in this heat. Seriously, why is it so absurdly hot all of a sudden? Because I'm here! You guys like my jokes? I'm thinking of doing stand-up. I would come and watch your act for... Thank you, X. Gotta be honest, I wouldn't. No chance. Well then, no thank you for you. I'd see if my calendar was free, but I wouldn't be prioritizing it. What are you, a screen? Anyway, yes, I get it. I'll work on some other jokes. Also, it's hot because we're entering the world's largest oven! There you go! Now you guys should be able to survive in the oven without burning to death! But remember, X's magic is keeping you at room temperature. Or, I guess, oven temperature. You can still burn yourself inside the oven on the walls. You might die, so be careful. Thanks, X! You're always looking out for us contestants. I was just looking out for you all, too! What the- Can you use that magic on me, X? Um, I don't know who you are, but, uh... Okay! Thanks, X! You're always looking out for us contestants and random people who show up! You're such a good host! I'm a good host, too! <laughs> and here we are, everyone! Doesn't it smell nice? No, I agree with Gelatin! Who are you? You know what? I'm sick of your attitudes, guys! This is a fun little trip! You guys have never been here before! Well, except for Teardrop! And she's so happy to be back! <laughs> oh, I see! She hates it instead! Fine! If you guys hate the oven, that can be today's challenge! There! Now the entrance is gone! And now it's back! Ah, oh, it didn't work! Ford, why'd you do that? Because today's challenge is to escape from the world's largest oven! The first contestant to get out wins! I've made the door slightly ajar, so there's a guaranteed way out. But I don't care how you get out. If you can find any way out, then you win! Very cool, but I'm getting claustrophobic. Can you snap the hosts out of the oven, please? Sure thing! Wait, you forgot me inside! Trust me, that was not a mistake. Get me out of here, or else- Are oh, you what? Never mind, this is uh, awesome. Yay! <laughs> oh my gardener, this oven is huge! What do you guys plan to do? Wait, you forgot to drag me away too. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm not invited over there. What's up, TD? Yeah, I like working with you too, Teardrop. Oh, you want to work with Levy too? Oh, do you want her to join our alliance? Ooh, really, TD? Yeah, I think that's a great idea, actually. Hooray! Well, as for me, little teenster, this is great! The three of us can all gang up on her, then she'll have no chance, and then we all go to the next round! Easy! Leafy just let me into the alliance, hooray! That makes no sense, why would you- The glad is all settled, yay!
Oh, there's a mysterious door over there. Gelatin, let's go see what's behind it. Whoa, sounds good. Wait for me, guys. Well, I guess that just leaves us. Where do you think we should go, Alliance member? Yeah, that seems like a good place to start. Oh, nice. It led to a fun little room. We should get out of here. I know from experience that getting stuck in a small room with nothing to do is no laughing matter. Yeah, we need to get out of here right now. Who are you? I'm closing the door to stop even more vandals from walking in. <laughs> Did you check to make sure we could get out of here first? Leafy, you can't see if a door is locked before closing it. You have to test after it's closed. Time to test. Hmm, bad news, guys. The door is clearly locked. Wait, the door is locked? Somebody help us! TD, are we almost up to the baking tray? Ow, for pedal's sake. It's okay, guys. Nobody panic. Let's just look around for a key. All that's in here is this box. Uh, I already checked under it. There's no key or anything there. We're doomed. Darn, I guess we're stuck here. If only we didn't go into this tiny room, Leafy. Hey, it could have been an elevator to the top of the oven. You don't know. We could be out there winning immunity right now. If only Lollipop was still in the game, she'd know what to do. Well, sometimes different is good. I don't know. Lollipop being gone is like, if suddenly one day your voice sounded different, wouldn't that be weird? Yeah. TD, are we almost up to the baking tray? Thanks, Seed. That was such a long ladder. And what? Do my eyes deceive me? Teardrop, look! It's a... It's a... It's a... Mega Mall! In an oven for some reason. Okay, TD, I know we don't really know each other well, but it's time for a Becoming Best Friends montage. Let's go! Hanging at the mall. TD. For some reason, you keep running away from me, but I knew you'd be in the secondhand utility store. I knew you'd be here because I checked every other shop first. But anyway, I made us best friend shirts. What do you think? Oh, don't worry about the size difference. It's just because I drew myself first. You are an equal part of this friendship. Here, put it on. Grr. Anyway, the ladder only went to this baking tray. We still need to find our way to the top. Did you find any supplies in here? Oh, a grappling gun, rope, and a coat hanger. We can use those to climb our way out. You're a genius, TD. I guess we have to kill time. So, uh, anyone want to share a story of theirs while we wait? Anyone? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> I've got one. Whoa, hopefully I can escape this box someday. Not the greatest story. Okay, well, I was stuck in a box for eight years, so lots of my stories are box-related. Oh, well, I loved all our moments together, guys. Can you use that magic on me, X? I don't know who you are! I agree with Gelatin. Who are you? We need to get out of here right now. Who are you? Seriously, who are you? Go away, please. One of my fave stories was just today, when I added flour to our alliance. So nice. Honestly, Leafy, it didn't seem that nice. It seemed like you wanted us to think you were being nice, but it was just pointless. Excuse me, Gelatin. I'll have you know I'm number one on the niceness chart, whereas you're number 56. I know more about this stuff than you do. What are these rankings? The ones that you made? They're still rankings! TD's newest comic had a part where you try to force her to give you an immunity. Is that true? I, uh, well, y uh, yes, but it's just I hadn't won an immunity yet this season. I haven't won immunity yet. Will you give me immunity this round? Well, it's different. We're so close to the end. Classic Leafster. Hey! I am nice! Okay. I'm nice! I am nice! You two can fight about this later! We need to get out of here right now! Or I'm going to start eating people again! I just wish there was something under this bo- Wait! Purplehead, there's a key under the box, dude! Oh, yeah! When, when I said I looked under the box, I lied. I just couldn't be bothered to look under it, but that's cool, we found the key out. What is your problem? 
It was nice going to a mall again. After living in a ruined city for most of the year, it was nice being part of modern society for a little bit. All right, Dee Dee, just remember to aim it very carefully. We want to end up on the upper tray and... Wait, Dee Dee, be careful! Glad the key worked. Thank goodness we're all out of that room. Now we just need to find our way out of the entire oven. I still can't believe you said I was mean, gelatin. I didn't say that, Leafy. Just that sometimes your niceness seems a bit fake is all. Oh, yeah? Well, would a mean person do this? Oh, hell! Yes, they would. And now that they're gone, oh, seriously, hell. who was that CRT person? Where did she come from? Unclear. Regardless, I was trying to throw her out the top of the exit, not at the door. I tried to be nice. Whatever. <gasps> Leafy, look! You throwing CRT at the oven door chipped it a little bit. If we keep throwing stuff, we can break the door and walk right out. Good idea, gelatin. Let's try it. Ah! <laughs> Hmm, maybe gelatin was too squishy for that to work. How about you, purple man? No! <laughs> Alright, the crack didn't grow. I'm gonna need more solid objects. But where to find them? Go up here, huh? Don't mind if I do! My gosh, TD! We're even higher than when we were hanging on to profiling! How are you not scared right now? Oh! We're here! Alrighty, so now what, Teardropo? Oh, the top of the door is just over there. Wait, you're letting me go across? You're letting me win? I've never had a bond like this before. Thank you so much, TD. I can't believe I'm so close to the final three. There was so much trash at that mall. Time to throw. <sighs> the crack got bigger. It's working. Thanks, TD. All right, final three. Let's do this. Whee! Um, TD, a problem with the contraption. I'm weighing it down in the middle. I'm stuck. Wait, TD, no! Huh. You betrayed me, didn't you, Teardrop? Get over here! No! I trusted you! All right, one more object ought to do it. Yay! My exit has been made! Now time to win immunity! TV, watch out! And Teardrop wins immunity into the final three! Due to not exiting the oven first, and also dying, Gelatin, Leafy, and Flower are up for elimination! It's time to pick the one you think should stay and post a comment with that letter in square brackets. Then subscribe to this channel so you can see the results next episode. Hi, I'm Michael. And as I'm filming this, the Fiery Plush and our new Pen Plush have just arrived at our warehouse. So shipping has finally started. Leafy and Fiery Jr., which are by Crowdmade, are expected to ship next week. Even though shipping is congested, all four of our official plush toys can be ordered now. Check out the links in the description. And maybe you don't have time for shipping. Here's an instant gift. Object Animators Toolbox is my video course where I teach you how to animate your own object show. Check out the special link that'll bring it down to just $6 a month. That's all. I'm Michael and see you in BFB 28. And one more thing at the end of this video. Thanks everyone for coming to my stand-up show. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway, airplane, food, what is it? Oh, what's next, bus food? Boo! Don't boo me. I can see everyone perfectly, so it's much ruder to do in an intimate setting. Boo! You know what? I'm gonna take the boos as a compliment. Ah, uh, now I see the boos have stopped. Uh, is anyone else hearing that? Yeah. What do you think it is? I don't know, probably nothing.
this is mine. Seeing you with your friends before, how you all got along so well, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, but there's something I didn't tell you. If you go back... No. Please don't tell me anymore. Am I right? Right. <sighs> Thank you for being my friend, Miles. I hope I get to remember you. Hold it, Miles. Lunch. And remember, I'm working late tonight. Again? Man, you're a total slave to that business of yours. Nobody's a slave to their own dream, Miles. And hopefully my hard work today will pave the way for your dream tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. And speaking of hard work, you make sure you hit those books instead of hitting that baseball when you get home from school today. Understood? But, Mom... If I don't practice, how am I going to grow up to hammer like Hank Aaron? If Hank Aaron were here, he'd hammer into your head that any chance at a decent job comes from improving your grades. Bottom line, no good grades, no baseball. But, Mom... No buts. Mwah. Yo, Mr. Hammer, permission slip for the field trip. Oh, right. That dumb old museum. Thanks, Mom. Cool. Clear for takeoff. Pee wee. Keeping it live. Detroit style. Feeling it. Big dreams of a million. I'm Pee wee. Chilling. Just making it. Yeah. Got to take a CD with the 50 inch screen for my video. Come on. Feeling it. Been all around the world and all the little girls just screaming. Dude, work with me, Kyle. School books, school bus stop. Could we be talking school? That's supposed to be a joke? It's supposed to be a no-brainer. Any questions, try looking in the mirror. Ugh. Hey! <laughs> Give it up, chump. The cavalry ain't coming. Yes! No! Wild man Willis! <laughs> gonna kill me. That's the third shirt I've lost this week. Come on. Come on. Ah, can you believe this? Hey, Clueless! Let's move it! Don't make me get out of this truck! You tell him, Dad. And as for you, 
I got better things to do than to drive you to school every stinking day. But, Dad, I, uh... But nothing. The only but you need to worry about is yours if you keep giving me grief. Then try keeping your shirt on, will ya? I ain't made of money. I don't know where you get this lousy attitude from. <laughs> Full count, bases loaded, two out. If this batter walks, Atlanta loses the series. Here's a 3-2 slider. Why? Real why? What's up, Miss Clark? Why does everyone get here so early? You're late, Kyle. Missed my bus, Miss Clark. It sure didn't miss you. Surf's up, Mr. C. Sandy, while I slam the lip. Whoa! I'll slam my lip. <laughs> That's my man, always on the cutting edge. Hello, people are trying to learn here. Okay, class, settle down. I'm going to announce the groups for the Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, project. Oh, Miss Clark, can I work with? No, Maria, I've already picked the groups. Miles, you'll work with Maria. All right, love at last. In your dreams. Randy, you work with them too. <sighs> I'm doomed. Excellent. Hey, Miles, we're joining the academic dream team. And Kyle? Mrs. Clark, I thought you liked this. Great. Madame Curie meets the Three Stooges. Miles, wait a second. I want you to take a good look at this. You have gotten very complacent lately. What's going on? Baseball season, Mrs. C. I have been getting myself in shape. I suggest you get your grades in shape. Come on, Mrs. Clark, get real. When you're living in color, sports and entertainment are the only sure bets for making the big time. Well, I'll tell that to General Colin Powell. He's different. I'm talking the rest of the... Wannabes? I'm not gonna be no wannabe. I know you're smarter than that, Miles. There are other ways to make your mark on the world. I'll take my chances my way. Well chance this, Miles. I'm recommending to Mr. Harris that you repeat a grade. What? If you don't turn your grades around, starting with the Martin Luther King Project. Martin Luther King? What's there to know? He's famous for doing a bunch of good stuff for African Americans back in the day, and now he gets his birthday off, right? Miles, Dr. King opened up a whole new world for the entire country, and he didn't care what color they were. Keep your eyes and ears open on the field trip today. You might learn something. Oh, and by the way, that's how you throw a slider. Hmm. Wow. train crash test dummies. Class, this is Mrs. Peck, the museum curator. No autographs, photo shoots, nothing today. My good side's a little off. Stunning, aren't I? Anyway, this museum was the home of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he was no bigger than you guys. As you'll soon find out, this house is very unique. Magical, even. You mean like Hocus Pocus? Pull a rabbit out of a hat magical? No, no, nothing like that. Come on now, step lively. You kids are lucky. On the walls this week, we're featuring a special traveling photo exhibition on Dr. King's life. Try not to sneeze on the glass, because you know who will have to clean it up later. Oh, this is my favorite room in the house. This is Martin's bedroom. Take a look. Why is it roped off? To keep your grubby little hands off. What do you think? The things inside are probably priceless. It's much more than that. Priceless is not the word. Now, come on, follow me. I've got to show you the rest of the house. What do you do? Mrs. Peck said the house was magic, right? Miles, she's just messing with us. Adults say stuff like that all the time. I want to check it out firsthand. We're gonna get in trouble. You're my best bud, right? 
So are you down for this or what? Besides, who's gonna know? Just the three of us. What? No sense of direction? Or you just lost your way to the bathroom? Uh, hi, Mrs. Peck. Um, we're busted. Yeah. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'll let you poke around in here for a few minutes to get the feel of the place. Now, come on, I don't plan on standing here until my retirement kicks in. Are you going in or not? Sure. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Mrs. Peck. You know, I don't know what it is, but every time I step into this room, something possesses me to wind this old watch. There. You boys have a nice trip now. Bye. Have a nice trip? What does she mean by that? Nothing, man. Like you said before, she's just playing. Check it out. Martin's glove. Man, we're talking classic. Uh, Randy? Whoa, freaky. Get it off, man. Forget about the rush. Where are we? Heads up! I got it! I got it! Look out! Out of way, Martin! Nice catch! What's going on? How did we get here? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I must have hit you harder than I thought. Hey, that's the guy in the picture. It can't be. Can it? It is. It's your... Martin. Martin Luther King. Junior. Uh... Randy, and I'm my, my, Miles. My, my, Miles, huh? <laughs> that sounds like the kind of name you pick up in a pool hall. Boy, that's a nice jersey. You a baseball fan? You know it. This is Hank Aaron's number. In my book, he was the greatest slugger of all time. He hit more home runs than Babe Ruth. 755. Oh, right. I bet you're gonna tell me he's colored, too. Come on, Martin! Let's play! Coming, fellas! Whoa, Randy, this is major magic time. We're actually in the past. Yeah, but how are we gonna get back? You guys wanna play? More magic, I hope. We got to learn to deal with each other. No, no matter what a race, critical. Randy, surf's up! No problem, oh. It's love and understanding. Get on board. The friendship oh. train. Everybody Guys. shake a hand. Hey, Martin! Okay. People are talking about the friendship All right, All right good job, go. man. Sam, yeah. Skip, get your things this minute. I told you, you are not ever to play with those coloreds. But, Mama, Martin's the best ball player in the neighborhood. If your daddy catches you, he'll tan your hides and give me all kinds of heck to boot. Your husband would get burnt over this? Man, tell him to get a life. Mind your tongue, you little uppity colored brat. I want you people to stay away from my boys, you hear? Oh, 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 Ma. Say what? You people? Miles and I are best friends. We hang out all the time. Well, it ain't natural, I tell you. I suggest you leave them Negroes alone, or the only hanging you'll be doing with them is from a tree. Man, she hates us and she doesn't even know us. What's to know, Miles? Our skin is darker than hers. She thinks we're different. And that's what she hates. Well, if she hates me, I'll hate her back. Own it. What'll that solve? My daddy says hate is rooted in fear. And the only cure for fear and hate is love. We should love someone who hates us? Why? Somebody's got to start the change. Man, things are sure different where we come from. Where's that? The future, dude. The future? <laughs> now there's a laugh. Well, you've been reading too many comics. Now that's my pops. I gotta go. Hey, Martin. You forgot your... Excellent. 
Sure beats buying a ticket. Hey, isn't that Martin? He got older. Come on. Hey, Martin, remember us? Randy and my, my, Miles. I, I'm sorry, I, nice jersey. Yeah, remember? Hank Aaron, Dirt Field, playing ball with the Dale brothers. The Dale brothers? They moved away over three years ago. Three years? Whoa, this is beyond awesome. Pete, this. We're kicking it in this museum, and we got completely zapped to time, and we... You gotta excuse Randy. He doesn't get out much. So, what you been up to? I spent this past summer in Connecticut, picking tobacco to earn money for college. You don't look old enough for college. Well, I'm only 15, but I graduated early. How'd you do that? Well, I bet my oldest sister, Christine, that if I studied hard, I'd graduate early and go to college with her. Now I'm heading back to Atlanta before school starts. <laughs> I can't wait to rub it in. Ooh, she's gonna be hotter than a foil on fire. Have your tickets ready. Tickets, please. Tickets, have them ready. If you close that curtain, it'll be hot in here. Sorry, son. We're about to cross the Mason-Dixon line. Young man, you best move to the other part of the dining car. car. How come? Because this section for colors. But I want to ride with my friends. Suit yourself, then. Circus folks. Don't even change out of them silly costumes to ride the train. Mm -mm. Mm. Blacks and whites can't eat together. That's nuts. Negroes and whites don't associate in the South. I can see nothing more urgent than for America to work passionately and unrelentingly to get rid of the disease of racism. Well, like we say it, it's not like that where we're from. So exactly where's that? Uh, out of town. Way out of town. Mmm, something sure smells good. I sure could use some food right about now. I'm starving. Say, why don't you boys come to supper at my house when we hit Atlanta? My mama's home cooking is hot, tasty, and unsegregated. Martin, you've got yourself a deal. I hope you fellas like baked honey chicken and yams. Everything smells great, Mrs. King. Yeah, thanks for having us over. I'm afraid I've never met you two young gentlemen before. We're from out of town, Reverend King. Yeah, way out of town. They do appear a bit way out at that. Our parents were, uh, detained out of town. So Martin said he'd look after us. Who'd want you to babysit? You're nothing but a baby yourself. I'm just practicing for when I have to babysit you at college. You think you're funny, don't you? So, what are your friends going to do while we make our rounds later? They can wait in my room. Rounds? What's that? Shut-in rounds. My dad is a minister, and he visits sick and elderly people who can't leave their homes. A man has no greater purpose in life than to serve his fellow man. I've tried to instill that message into all my children. It may help you, too, someday, when you're back way out wherever. Yes, sir, Reverend King. You can stay here until I finish rounds with Daddy. Help yourself to any of my things. My house is your house. Thanks, Martin. Yeah, thanks, man. Don't you think it's kind of cool that he's always doing good things for other people? Check it out, Miles. Here's all Martin's stuff from his room at the museum. Look, here's his glove. Yeah. And this weird watch. Hey, check this out. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Where are we now? Look at this. Now I wish I knew my history. This is a non-violent protest. We are depending on moral and spiritual forces using the method of passive resistance. It's 1956, and we're in Montgomery, Alabama. 
Come on, let's go the four one one. Hey, Randy, look, isn't that Martin? Radical. Two minutes ago, he was 15. Martin! Hey, Martin! Good, good. I'm glad you've come. No, no, Martin, it's us. The kids from the Sandlot and the train and... Nice guy, but he's got to work on his memory. Guess it's time to fess up. I'm not sure how, but we're sort of time-traveling through your life. Time-traveling through my life? <laughs> Is that one of those new television shows or something? No, no. I mean, hey, Miles, did you say 1956? Yeah. That means Hank Aaron was an all-star from Milwaukee last year. That's right. It sure feels good to see him and Jackie Robinson getting some respect. What's going on here, Martin? Boycott meeting. A Negro woman named Rosa Parks was tired and refused to give up her seat on the back of the bus to a white person. They threw her in jail because there's a city ordinance which says that a Negro has to give up his or her seat if a white person wants it. That's the law? But it was Rosa's seat first. But until that law is changed, no man, woman, or child of color is going to ride the bus in Montgomery. It's called a boycott. Reverend King! Reverend King! Reverend? Reverend? Martin's already become a minister. Turner, what's happened? Your house. Somebody bombed your house. My family. I want young men and young women who are not alive today, but who will come into this world with new privileges and new opportunities. I want them to know and see that these new privileges and opportunities did not come without somebody suffering and sacrificing for them. Coretta? Coretta! We're all right. Are you sure? Just a little shaken up, Martin, but we're all right. <laughs> Thank God. You and Yolanda are my life. Come here. Oh, I love you. Coretta? Every time you leave the house, I, I never know if I'll see you again. I'm right here. I'll stay if that's what you want me to do. I'll cancel my meetings, the rally. No, Martin. I can't ask you to do that. I won't. Your work is too important to the future of all those people out there. They need you. See what they tried to do to Reverend King? Burn his house down, kill his family? They want to take his life. And for what? For trying to see that justice is done for Negroes. Well, if they want violence, we can give them violence. With guns and knives, bricks and bottles. We'll match these angry crackers blow for blow. No. No, please, Turner. Brothers and sisters, no. Anger is not the way. Mahatma Gandhi drove the British out of India by standing his ground peacefully. Don't you see? By doing right in the name of humanity, things will change. We don't need bricks or bottles. We don't need Molotov cocktails. We must meet hate with love. To make change, we must meet violence with non-violence. Christ taught love, not hate for his enemies. It will take time, brothers and sisters, but things will change. Do you have any idea who would do this? Will you continue to encourage the boycott?
was no dream, Bubba. Where have you Cretans been? Come on, the bus is leaving. I'm doomed. Whoa, hey. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Tomorrow, after school, we're gonna take another little trip to visit our pal Martin. I gotta know what happens. Are you in or what? Yes! yes. What on earth? Don't ask. I think I'm gonna lose my lunch, and I haven't even eaten it yet. Thanks for the loan, chump. Okay, everybody, settle down. I hope you all enjoyed the museum trip yesterday. Now, can anyone here tell me about Martin Luther King and Birmingham in 1963? Birmingham's in Alabama. Duh. Man, before Martin, we couldn't even sit at lunch counters. Or use most water fountains. Or, or even most public bathrooms because of the color of our skin. Very good, Miles and Randy. That was in my notes. Let's watch the video. I will not rest until we are able to make this kind of witness in this city so that the power structure downtown will oh, have to sing. Man, I know this. Those are called sit-ins. Yeah, and Martin was so cool. He got everybody to go against this dumb law that said blacks and whites. Couldn't even eat together in public. Can you stand it? And he told all the protesting people not to budge until they got food. Yeah, and then the police came and arrested all of them. Oh, oh, I saw him. You saw him? That's Bull Connor, Birmingham's police commissioner. He hated everything Martin was doing. Most definitely. Because Martin was trying to bring blacks and whites together. You've got to keep the white and the black separate. Like the law enforcement agencies, that's what you've got them hide for. And the governor of the state of Alabama had to hide for. So Bull threw Martin in jail. Then Bull wouldn't let anybody even talk to Martin. His family didn't hear from him for days. Martin's wife, Coretta, got real scared and called the White House. Yeah, yeah, and the president, John Kennedy, busted Bull Connor big time and made him give Martin his legal rights and therefore his freedom. Right, that's how they got Martin out of jail. This movement, and the only way to deal with it is to give these people what we owe them and what their God-given rights and their constitutional rights demand. Oh man. That's what Martin asked everybody, even all the school kids like you and me, to do a protest. But Bull Connor didn't care that they were kids. He set dogs and water hoses on them anyway. But the news people put it on TV, and everybody in the whole country saw what horrible stuff was happening in Birmingham. Uh, And yet we cannot allow good conscience obey your evil laws. Do to us what you will. Threaten our children and we will still love you. And that's when the whole country realized the laws were wrong and had to change. It took a long time, but Martin was so cool that President Kennedy and he united in a common cause. Equality for all Americans. That was excellent, boys. 
Who do they think they are? Me? Wait a minute. Isn't that... Whoa, Miles! You got a clone! And that looks just like Randy next to him. Granted, he shares my suave good looks, but that is definitely not me. Great flick! Miles, Randy, that was you on the screen. Get real. We're talking physically impossible, Einstein. Later. Yeah, see ya. I don't buy it. How do they know all that stuff? I'm the one who skipped two grades. I think those two are up to something, and I'm gonna find out what. Are you with me? You kidding? Like, I need an excuse to pound on those old chumps. Let's do it. Oh! Accelerate to Mach 1, Randy. I gotta see what happens with Martin. Full throttle, dude. Uh-oh. Travel is safer than this. Mrs. Peck, remember us? Hmm. You look familiar. Let's see. No, that wasn't you. No, he was. No, that wasn't. No, I, you're very vague in my memory. I, no, I don't remember you. Come on, Mrs. Peck. It's Miles and Randy from yesterday. Do I remember? Of course I remember you. You're the guys who couldn't find their way to the bathroom. Can we go back inside? Your museum is the coolest, and we got to get back in there. We want to see Martin again, and... What Randy means is, the field trip really helped us learn a lot about Martin. Uh, I mean, Dr. King. Oh, really? Yeah, so, uh, we need to do more research for our project. Can we go back inside for just a little while? Please? Well, who am I to interfere with learning? But listen, be careful in there. When you mess with the fabric of history, sometimes you can bust a scene. What do you mean by that? Never mind, Randy. Thank you, Mrs. Peck. Great. Now I gotta give him the group rate. <sighs> Come on. We can climb in the window. Oh, great. Breaking and entering. I'll never make Yale with a criminal record. You know, there is a door. Hey, they're up in Martin's bedroom. Tell him I said to wind up that old watch for me. I don't get it, Randy. Yesterday, when we touched the glove, it made us travel. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, hi, guys. What are you guys up to? Come on, spill. What's the spill, Maria? I love baseball. Mrs. Peck told me I can come in and check out this old mitt again. It's a classic. Yeah, right. And I invented Swiss cheese. Oh, cool, Maria. Could you get me a few free pounds for... Stop. Talk to the hand, Kyle. Forget it. Man, that's a lot of people. I wonder what the big occasion was. That must be the March on Washington. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. You what? Ow! Nothing, Maria. Hey, this must be the watch Mrs. Peck wanted you to wind. I wonder what's with her in that old watch. That's it, time. The watch, check it out, Randy. Get basa, guys. It was the watch that made us time travel all along. Time travel? You guys are beyond loco. Following you dorks was a major waste of time. I guess that's what happens when you read science fiction comics on the toilet all day. Huh? Help! Save me! Guys! <laughs> Miles, what's happening? Uh, no biggie. It's time travel time. Hang on! on Washington. The March on Washington? That can't be. It was in 1964. 63. But who's counting? I've had it with both of you. Yeah, well, I've had enough of you, too. Now you're talking. Boys, boys, I'm disappointed. 
Since you came all this way to march with us, I would think you'd take our message of nonviolence to heart. You're right. Maria Cal, this is our friend Martin. Martin? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? The same. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the march. Reverend King, it's time to speak. Thank you, Turner. Hey guys, check out that girl over there. Doesn't she look like Mrs. Clark? It is so trippy that you young sisters and brothers came to support Dr. King. What is she talking about? She's glad we're here. Man, it is Mrs. Clark, but younger. Hi, I'm Joyce, but <laughs> that's so old. I'm changing my name to, to... Sunshine? Sunshine, yeah, thanks. I, I, it's like Dr. King says, we're all brothers and sisters. Wow, Dr. King's the ultimate. Yeah, he's really doing a lot for black people. He's much deeper than that. I mean, he's on this planet for all of us. He's about what's right for everybody of every color, because Dr. King's about equality for humanity. Dr. King's courage is about the power of one, that each of us, every man, woman, and kid, have the power to affect a change in everyone we touch. Well, I gotta go. Peace. You are the future. Here, Kyle. I bought you this. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, well, it better fit. Man, what's up with you? Nothing. What's it to you, jerk? Guys, come on. You heard Dr. King. We can all be friends. We can sit down together at the table of sisterhood. Uh, I think he said brotherhood. But sisterhood is cool, too. Totally. It sure is. Uh, yeah. Ready for liftoff? That was incredibly cool. Martin was a great man, just like Mrs. Clark said. Come on, it's getting late. We better get out of here. Randy. Is Coretta, Martin's wife, dressed in black? Over here. <gasps> Martin was assassinated. We can't let this happen. We've got to bring Martin to the future, and we can save him. But remember, we're not going to tell him about what we just read. Ready? OK, Maria, wind the watch.
My, my Miles? Randy? A second ago, you just disappeared. These are our friends, Maria and Kyle. Friends? Boy, you two really go looking for trouble, don't you? In our time, the future, it's okay. Your time? You guys really know how to lay on the jive. You really expect me to believe you come from the future? Yeah, we do. Look. Martin Luther King Jr., middle school. You must be joshing me. Hey, deal with it, okay? You're gonna grow up to be this big, important guy. Yeah, you're gonna be the reason that people of different races can hang together. Our time's much cooler than this. And we want you to see it. Yeah, come back with us, Martin. To the future? Sorry, but that's way past my curfew. Hey, Martin, come with us. We want you to see all the good things you've done and how your dream paved the way for people like Cesar Chavez. And General Colin Powell and Maya Angelou. Oh, and Thurgood Marshall, the guy from the Supreme Court. Gloria Steinem and Luis Alvarez. Who? He's a Latino physicist who won the Nobel Prize in 1968 because you were brave enough to make a difference. Well... All this sounds too good to be true. Okay, I'll give it a go. So when do we go? I'm not sure. Hey, wait! What time do you have, Martin? Ah, uh, this dumb old watch of mine stopped again. It never works. Try winding it, quick! Next stop, the future. This is the future? Hey, this looks like where my house is supposed to be. It is. Or was. There's supposed to be a museum here. Hey, Randy, where'd you guys land? If you're thinking of ripping off this skateboard, you've got another think coming. Huh? <laughs> Very funny, Kyle. Quit kidding around. Need some help here, buddy? Buddy? Since when are you and Kyle best buds? Wendy, tell this dork to knock it off. Don't call my best friend a dork. Now split. What? Wendy, just, uh, move it if you know what's good for you. Come on, Miles. We don't want any trouble. So long, fellas. Y'all have a nice evening. This is all wrong. I mean, Wendy was my friend, and now... You take a bus to school? Sure, every day. In my time, whites and Negroes go to different schools, and the Negroes have to walk. Well, now, what in tarnation you boys think you're doing? Mr. Willis, clean your glasses. It's me, Miles. Well, unless you want to get me fired, I suggest you go on, you get off this bus. Go on, go on, get. I thought your school was named after me. I thought so, too. Hold up. I'm thirsty. What do you think you're doing? 
Can't you people read? What's with the you people again? Now go on. Get. Mr. Harris, it's me, Miles. I said out. You never understand me. Thick wooden heads, that's the only thing I can see. Come on, let's go to my class. Maybe Mrs. Clark will explain what's up. Miles, the man said leave. Martin, think rebel for a minute and follow me. What's up, people? Miles is in the... Where is everybody? Mrs. Clark? Can I help you, boys? Say what? Run along now. You're disrupting the class. Where's Maria? Maria? Maria Ramirez. Oh, I certainly don't have a Ramirez in my class. What about Randy? What's it to you? You two colored still looking for trouble? I say we take this outside, boy. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Harris, please, they're children. Miles, something's very wrong here. I told you boys to get out. Mrs. Clark, you know they're forbidden on school grounds. Why didn't you kick them out? Well, Mr. Harris, I tried. You're a stupid woman. Never send a woman to do a man's job. Mrs. Clark, you're not stupid. He can't talk to you like that. I don't want to see you two again. I'll deal with you later. Maria! See? Maria, it's me, Miles. What are you doing? ¿Qué? No comprendo. No hablo inglés. Maria? No, por favor. Don't you touch her. They're lazy enough without you taking them away from their work. How can you say that? Kyle, Randy, get these two out of my head. Sure thing, Mr. Harris. Come on, Randy. Stay out! This is where you live? Yeah. But it sure didn't look like this when I left this morning. Wait a second. This is crazy. Where's my PC? Your what? My computer. And my boombox. My posters. Hank, it's all so strange. Miles? Mom, where's all my stuff? Stuff? What stuff, baby? My stereo and my computer and my video games and oh, everything. Miles. I've told you a thousand times. We have to put food on the table, and with my salary as a maid, I... Maid? What are you talking about? I thought you were working late at the office tonight. I'm cleaning on the day shift for a while. No! Your office! The business you started! Feeding my family is my only business, son. Who is this? This is my friend Martin. I told him he could stay with us for a while. Okay? Oh, Miles. I don't know. Things are pretty tough right now. But, Mom, I promised. He doesn't have anywhere else to go. Where are his parents? They're, uh, out of town. Way out of town. All right, then. He can stay. But you're gonna have to share your food with him. Times are hard enough without another mouth to feed. Sorry, Martin. My mom's never acted like that before. Maybe she's just had a rough day. Not nearly as rough as the one I'm having. This is all wrong. Miles, do you ever feel like you were put on this earth to do something special? Please. I have enough trouble trying to get through sixth grade. I've always had this feeling that there's something out there for me to do. I guess those things you told me today really brought it all home. Yeah, but suddenly, home isn't what it used to be. I sure hope we're doing the right thing. My daddy says, first understand the problem, then figure out the solution. Good night, my, my, Miles. Good night, Martin. I can't understand what's up, Martin. This isn't the home I left yesterday. Everything's all screwed up. This is terrible. 
I've ruined everything. Martin? Always remember, a man has no greater purpose than to serve his fellow man. Miles, I've got to go back. Don't you see? It must be because of me. Because I left my own time, things have changed in your time. You mean all the good you did in the 50s and 60s? The marches, the boycotts? Doesn't exist anymore? Maybe the work I was supposed to do never happened because I wasn't there to do it. But how can one person's life cause so much change? What matters is that you're not afraid to make a difference. You can't go. Miles, we all have a destiny in life. This is mine. Seeing you with your friends before, how you all got along so well, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, but there's something I didn't tell you. If you go back... No. Please don't tell me anymore. Am I right? Right. <sighs> Thank you for being my friend, Miles. I hope I get to remember you. All's right with the world. Calm down. You never believe what happened. Oh, I think I would. Miles! Guys, Kyle, do you know who I am? The biggest butthead in sixth grade, as usual. Maria, speak to me. Say something. Something. There. Are you happy? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am wonderful. Randy, we are still best buds, aren't we? Remember, Miles, I warned you. Fooling around with the past is a dangerous thing. You mean, you know? Of course I know. Martin did things that changed this country and people's lives. He helped people understand that it was in their power to help change ideas and laws. Without Martin and the Civil Rights Movement, who knows what would have happened. But if Martin were only here now, we still need him so much. People still have problems getting along, but it's much better today because of Martin Luther King Jr. I believe if we keep working on it, it'll only improve. So don't be sad, Miles. Martin will always be with you if you remember what he stood for and lived by. Oh, and by the way, I'll be needing that old watch back. Your report makes me feel as if you knew Dr. King personally. Yes, I did it! Seventh grade, here I come! I'm proud of you, Miles. You obviously learned a lot. Yeah. I learned 
that every one of us has the power to make the world a better place. That all we need is a dream and the courage to make it happen. So where do we start? Hey, I got an idea. You? you? Ornaments create time to hang. Gingerbread builds tradition. A string of light sparks family ties. A last minute gift makes a lasting impression. A tray carries your heritage. And an ending means a new beginning. Um, uh, attention. Friends?
I've been out there, and the people, they need some holiday cheer. It's your time to shine. You gotta cuddle your way into their arms, their hearts, until there's a smile on every face. So, who's in? Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape. that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong, it even works underwater. Now you can repair leaks in pools and spas without draining them. Flex Tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. Flex Tape is super strong, and once it's on, it holds on tight. And for emergency auto repair, Flex Tape keeps its grip, even in the toughest conditions. Big storms can cause big damage, but Flex Tape comes super wide, so you can easily patch large holes. To show you the power of Flex Tape, I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only Flex Tape. Not only does Flex Tape's powerful adhesive hold the boat together, but it creates a super strong watertight seal. So the inside is completely dry. Yes, down there. Just cut, peel, stick and seal. Imagine everything you can do with the power of Flex Tape. Um, attention. Friends, I've been out there, and the people, they need some holiday cheer. It's your time to shine. You gotta cuddle your way into their arms, their hearts, until there's a smile on every face. So, who's in? Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong, it even works underwater. Now you can repair leaks in pools and spas without draining them. Flex Tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. Flex Tape is super strong, and once it's on, it holds on tight. And for emergency auto repair, Flex Tape keeps its grip, even in the toughest conditions. Big storms can cause big damage, but Flex Tape comes super wide, so you can easily patch large holes. To show you the power of Flex Tape, I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only Flex Tape. Not only does Flex Tape's powerful adhesive hold the boat together, but it creates a super strong watertight seal. So the inside is completely dry. Yes, down there. Just cut, peel, stick and seal. Imagine everything you can do with the power of Flex Tape.
Winterland, a beautiful mountain resort where the world's athletes are gathered for the opening of the Olympic Games. Perfect opportunity to show the world the supremacy of man. A mad cat. <laughs> and what brings you to Winterland, young lady? I'm here with my uncle. Oh, look! There he is! <laughs> Inspector Gadget, the world's most famous detective. <coughs> I'm off duty. Uncle, are you sure Chief Quimby doesn't know where you are? Of course, Penny. I'm taking one week's vacation, and I'm absolutely, completely, and totally off duty. <coughs> Holy mountain goat! That's the top secret gadget phone. Is that you, Chief? You're where? Sorry to interrupt your vacation, Gadget, but... Uh... Take all precautions, Dr. Clore and Winterland. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. <laughs> <laughs> With my cold weather warning system, Dr. Claw won't dare to show his face. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> he hasn't seen my man Yodel. Don't me Not here, you fool. At Gadget Chalet, Avalanche him. Get Gadget! Yes, sir! Oh, yes, sir! Indeed, sir! Yes, sir! Do I see what I think I see? Oh, my little! Wowzers! That innocent yodeler is heading straight for my trap. I've got to stop him. It doesn't look like an innocent yodeler to me. No way. Stop! Stop, my good man! Watch him, Brain. Just one step further, my good man, and you have fallen into my secret gadget trap. <laughs> good thing we braced ourselves. Excuse me. Let me brush you off. I'm so sorry. Ah, your sheet music. Here, let me help you. Mm, la la. Catchy little tune. La la. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dum de dum dum. Ah. Oh, I'm oh. such a butterfinger. La la. Wow, what's going on here? Whoa. Brain, come in, Brain. This is Penny. Do you read me, Brain? <laughs> That's a mad yodeler, one of Dr. Claw's secret agents. <laughs> <clears throat> Do, re, mi, la, si, do, re, mi, la, si. Thank you. Do. My goodness, I'm so sorry. Let me dust you off again. No way! <laughs> Strange people, these mountain folks. And with the 
the lighting of the Olympic flame, this year's Winter Olympic Games will now begin. Look, Uncle, there's the Olympic torch bearer. Indeed it is, Penny. <laughs> yes, it's lovely. Oh, I wonder if... Chief Quimby, you're no bear. That's no torchbearer. Wowzer, that's one of Dr. Claw's men. <laughs> torchbearer carrying dynamite. Must stop. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'll get him. <laughs> Chief Quimby, are you all right? <laughs> Why do I put up with him? You there, stop in the name of the law! What's this? An unidentified skier is on the run! Stop! Stop! Stay calm, Brain. With my gadget snow sail, we'll breeze right up the slope. <laughs> One thing about sailing, Brain, always check the wind first. And now to inflate my gadget float. Nice try. Hey? Let this be a lesson to you next time you try and bust somebody's balloon, Buster. There's the thief! No, no, you've got the wrong man! I've got to get rid of this dynamite! Brain, are you there? Bow oh, wow. Well. Follow them, Brain. We've got to help Uncle Gadget. I've got to get rid of this dynamite before it explodes! Oh. oh, that's it. Bowsers, this is dangerous. Go on, beat it. Will you get out of here? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This guy's getting on my gadget nerves. Wow, 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 wow. Traveling in disguise as a garbage pail, eh? Time for my gadget snow gun. <laughs> Scratch one mad agent disguised as a garbage pail. <laughs> Agents, gadget on Bob's that course, eliminate him. Got you, boss. Nothing like a little oil to grease things up. <laughs> hey, watch it! Come back here, you! Oil well, it ends well. <laughs> Bobsled, you! Wait! Inspector Gadget! Who else? <laughs> yes, it's us. Precisely. And as you see, we've just saved the Olympic Village from this fake torch loaded with dynamite. Gadget private ski lessons. Only the best for Inspector Gadget. Private ski lessons, eh? 
I've got just the idea to eliminate Gadget once and for all. Plan XB7A. I knew we were nearby. This is the spookiest ski school I've ever seen. Oh, but it's beautiful, Penny. Look at all its medieval charm. Welcome to Winterland Ski School, the world's first automated ski resort. Hmm. That voice sounds awfully familiar. This place is weird. This must be the automated gondola. Ah, the wonders of the modern age. <laughs> Come along, Brain. Pets are allowed. <laughs> the Winterland Gondola traverses 19,000 feet with the highest vertical drop in the world. Uncle, are you sure this thing is safe? Why, as safe as the ground I'm standing on. Go, go, get it on! And now what do you say, Uncle? I'm calling the maintenance department. This gondola hasn't been serviced in months. At the top of the lift, your first automated ski lesson will begin. Not only the first, but the last. I've never heard of an automated ski lesson. As long as your feet are on the ground, Penny, nothing can go wrong. Oh, yeah. The ski bar is picking up speed. Not at all, Penny. Just relax and enjoy the scenery. It's an easy flight down with my gadget umbrella. Go, go, gadget umbrella. Hmm. Go, go, gadget umbrella. Hmm. Gadget umbrella, go! Gadget, go, umbrella, umbrella, gadget, gadget! Ah! Like I said, Penny, as long as your feet are on the ground, nothing can go wrong. The problem is keeping your feet on the ground. The beautiful thing about a modern resort, Penny, is it's totally unspoiled by crowds. But, Uncle Gadget, there's not even an instructor here. Don't worry, Penny. As a former champion skater myself, I'll show you how the pros do it. No, Rain, not like that. Bend your knees more. Like this. Uncle, look! Wowzer! Our ice rink has become an iceberg. We're heading straight for that waterfall. Stay calm, Penny. With my gadget arm, you're free from harm. Go, go, gadget arms. Boom. Uncle. No problem. Go, go, gadget ring. Come on. Put it, Penny. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, Uncle Gadget, are you okay? Good going, Brain. Keep cranking. Gosh, Uncle, you are really cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stay calm, Penny. I'm on a secret mission. Chief, are you there? Another self-destructing message. 
Mad will use Strange Animal to disrupt games. Don't worry, Chief. No need to fear when Gadget is here. Now, Mad Cat, Mad's ultimate weapon, the abominable Snowman. <laughs> The perfect vantage point. From here, I can survey all of Winterland. I've got a strange suspicion I'm being followed. Hmm, very strange. Very strange indeed. Go, go, Gadget Captain! Come here, Brain. Oh. Follow him! Phony feathers. I wonder if that could be the animal. Police, show me your face. You'll do your explaining behind bars. Don't try to run. I've got you surrounded. You're under arrest. I said you're under arrest. Would you mind answering a couple of questions? <laughs> Thought you got rid of me, eh? <laughs> There's no escape from Inspector Gadget. Give up. No. All right, buddy, that's it. You're under arrest. Now for the ski jump competition. Next jumper, please. Ready, set. Welcome to the New World Record! Well, anyway, time is running out for green team. A break. Walk! Stay calm, everyone. Inspector Gadget has everything well in hand. <laughs> Good work, Snowbot. Now bring him to the castle. Surrender now, monster. It's your last chance. Brain! Brain! Take <laughs> laser homing device and follow Uncle Gadget. All right. <laughs> Now I'll tune in my computer on this electronic creep's frequency. Brain, my loyal friend, what are you doing? Free boss! Brain, you're freeing the suspect! Now I've got its frequency. Destroying private property is a federal offense. Now, monster, self-destruct! Look over there, Brain. It's Dr. Claw's secret shuttle. I'll get you yet, Gadget. I'll get you. <laughs> What have you done with my dog? Hey, come back here! Bring my dog back here! Hey, you monster! You dumb monster! And a special gold medal for best demonstrating the Olympic spirit! <laughs> Inspector Gadget. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I'm flattered. Remember, kids, snow sports provide us with good exercise and fun. But like any sport, you should be careful so you don't get hurt. Observe the rules. Remember, never ski by yourself. And always remember the principles of sportsmanship. <laughs> and last but not least, never bring your dog to the ski slopes.
catch you next time, Gadget. Next time. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape that can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Flex Tape is no ordinary tape. Its triple thick adhesive virtually welds itself to the surface, instantly stopping the toughest leaks. Leaky pipes can cause major damage, but Flex Tape grips on tight and bonds instantly. Plus, Flex Tape's powerful adhesive is so strong, it even works underwater. Now you can repair leaks in pools and spas without draining them. Flex Tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. Flex Tape is super strong, and once it's on, it holds on tight. And for emergency auto repair, Flex Tape keeps its grip, even in the toughest conditions. Big storms can cause big damage, but Flex Tape comes super wide, so you can easily patch large holes. To show you the power of Flex Tape, I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only Flex Tape. Not only does Flex Tape's powerful adhesive hold the boat together, but it creates a super strong watertight seal. So the inside is completely dry. Yeah, doggy! Just cut, peel, stick, and seal. Imagine everything you can do with the power of Flex Tape. from the Von Ruff Institute of Aversion Therapy. It says they can break any bad habit in man or beast in just two days. Oh, how do they do that? Uses the latest scientific techniques. My, my, what won't they think of next? Stop! <laughs> Stealing April 9th, May 20th, June 6th, and 9th. You have a criminal addiction to fish. I'm afraid I have no choice but to... Please don't send Heathcliff to jail, Your Honor. I think there's a way to cure him. Let's hear it, then. 
These folks at the Von Ruff Institute guarantee they can break any bad habit in man or beast. I think we should try it out on Heathcliff. Try it out on Heathcliff? Hmm. I've seen their ads on TV. All right. The prisoner is placed in your custody for aversion therapy. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't like the sound of this. So this is the criminal. Yes, Your Excellency. Please, not to worry. This animal will be cured. Good day. Well, see you later, Heathcliff. You cooperate with the doctor now. He will cooperate, and he will like it. Subject, cat. Object, fish. Goal, destroy taste for... The prisoner, I mean, the patient is ready, Your Highness. The prisoner? Then we will begin. Huh, this is not gonna be as bad as I thought. Ah, yes. No! Phew. Activate the chair. Yes, your lord. Now for the fish smells. Yes, your supremeness. I smell fish! <laughs> and now for phase two. Phase two, your doctor shipness. <gasps> it looks so real! Lunch break? Thank you for your excellent cooperation. Relax and enjoy. Oh, boy! <laughs> One more time. Hey, what's going on here? You're not gonna trick me again. You have finished your lunch. Good. Now we begin phase three.
I must congratulate you. You did a good job. It's over, at last. <laughs> Rest time is over. Now we start phase one all over again. <laughs> no! So, is the prisoner cured of his criminal addiction? Your Honor, Heathcliff not only doesn't want to eat fish, he can't even stand to hear the word fish. Ah! I see. He's afflicted even by the word fish. <gasps> All right, bailiff. Yeah! I'm convinced. Case dismissed. That came from the kitchen. Someone ate a whole box of chocolate pastries and all the leftover sirloin steak. And my cheese is gone. Who could have done this? I can't imagine who would eat that smelly old cheese. Brrr. Stop that cat! He stole a dish of liver pate and a box of our most expensive crackers. And then he took a whole plate of pâté. Does anyone else have anything to say? I do, Your Honor. Ah. Hmm? Oh. A terrible miscarriage of justice has taken place. It must be corrected. I'm placing Heathcliff in your custody. Be back here in two days. Dr. Van Ruff is going to give you emergency anti-aversion therapy. He will be fine. Please recommend us to your friends. Good day. Bailiff? Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. Fish! Case dismissed. Here, Heathcliff. I thought you might like to play with this toy mouse. Here's some water for you. Dig in, Heathcliff. There's plenty more where that came from. And don't worry, buddy. You'll always have all the fish you can eat. Terrible birthday. Nobody remember. Nobody cares. I even lost my hat. Huh? Gosh, somebody did remember my birthday. They even sent a present. Huh? Come back here. Uh, hey, Hambone! I'll get you! Gotcha! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Leroy. Leroy! How come you cats are giving me a party? Because the Cadillac cats believe everyone should have a happy birthday. Yeah, you know what this kind of reminds me of? That Christmas time, not long ago, when we were all alone in the snow. Yeah, remember that first Christmas when we all met? Picking on that little guy, three against one, and 
phone. What? Listen, you. Get him. I don't know who you are, you big oaf, but if I need your help, I'll ask for it. Got that? Yeah, huh? <laughs> Stop drooling and go find your own food, you overgrown top. Yeah, but yeah, all I've had in the last two days are some scraps. All right, you pest. Come here. I can't stand it! Come on! Did you do a tickling you? <laughs> this arrangement is the pit! Open the truck, find the cat. Tell me, how'd you get where you're at? I curled up in the trunk to get out of the snow. The owner came along and shut the trunk, and here I am. <laughs> Wherever here is. Hey, Ryman Simon, who said you could invite friends? Words worse the name. Rhymes are my game. I'm Hector, number one cat. I'm number one. You're out. Yeah, why don't we all be friends? You want to be friends with these jerks? Stay with them. Wow. Ooh. Seasons, greetings, you beautiful thing. I'll show you a beautiful thing. Yeah, stop. Please don't cry. Wow. Oh. Oh. Hey! Get away from this junkyard! Uh, uh, let's get out of here. Follow me, guys. I remember this part. Leroy, guarding this junkyard is your last chance. Mess this up like everything else, I'll throw you out of the force. Yeah, what are we gonna do, Miss Cleo? Yeah, we can't get back in the junkyard. There's one way you might be able to get back in, but you'll all have to work together. <sighs> wow. Hello, nice guard. Santa has a present just for you. Yeah, he does? Oh, boy. Is Santa here? Oh, uh, uh yes. Santa's... Hi there, big guy. Name's Rudolph. You heard of me, right? Listen, old dog buddy. Santa here is real excited. All the trips to be made, presents to be given. It's tough on the big guy, understand? On me? Wow. Bang! You forgot your... Ah! Yeah! 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 
See, you can work together. And you'd better do it again. No! You fooled me! You're not Rudolph! She can't you take a little joke? where we'll stay. The Cadillac cats are born today. And on Christmas Eve. Perfect. You cats can stay in the caddy. Me, I got my eye on that. Now, I've got a favor to ask of you. Since you live in a music store, can you get our friend a stereo headset? His radio is driving me nuts. Sure, handsome. <laughs> That's how the Cadillac cats were born. And now it's time for the birthday presents. We noticed you lost your hat. Uh, you shouldn't have. A hat from a cat. That's where it's at. Watch it, you big dog. I can't help it. This is the best birthday anyone could have, ever. It's like, like Christmas. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so proud of everyone, Riff Raff. Especially you. Oh, oh, I love oh, holidays. Oh, holidays. <laughs> oh, 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 You've got to train the puppy not to jump on people. It can scare them. Aw, oh, Dad, he's little. Well, that's why you should train him now. Yeah. Before he's big. I see what you mean, Dad. Get in the know, get on the go. 